John Swan is a commentator who's known for making viral commentary videos on Chris Hansen, Suzy Liu, and Minecraft. But recently, his views and subgrowth has plummeted into oblivion. And usually when that happens, it's due to one of two things. People get bored with the content, or you get cancelled. And considering how high his views used to be, people definitely didn't get bored of his content, but rather got fed up with the creator himself. And the most crazy part about the cancellation of John Swan is that it happened completely unintentionally. This is the story of how the massive YouTuber Dream accidentally cancelled one of the most promising and up and coming YouTubers, John Swan. It all started with this Reddit comment. The comment Dream left was on a thread made by one of his stands who criticized John Swan for negatively tweeting about Dream stands. The reason Dream stands were going after John Swan as of late is because John Swan called Dream a douchebag, which seems out of left field until you watch the clip that's attached to the tweet where Moist Critical also calls Dream a douchebag with an explanation. Yeah, so Charlie, continue. Why, why is he so spoiled or whatever you were saying? So. Well, I was just saying, I, I didn't, I thought Kai didn't believe he had an ego. I was just going to say, because I went on a podcast with him and he was telling this story about like, he always knew he was going to blow up and his advice to up and comers was to be super confident to the point of arrogance. Before I even posted my first video, there was like the six month period where I was like, you know what? Like, it can't be that hard to do YouTube. So I was like, let me look into it. Let me do the research. Let me read about it. Let me watch videos on it. I, I had no idea. Video. I had no idea that I was going to get to this point this quickly, but I, I was being plan. cocky. I was being cocky. I was to the point where I was like bragging, like, yeah, I'm going to get, I'm going to be at a million subs. And he said he used to leverage favors from the community by promising them he'd blow up and remember them. It, I, I had no subs and I was trying to get a favor from somebody <laughs> that, cause I thought it would help me. I wanted, it was really dumb. I wanted some like rank on some server that would then help me get my name out there. And I was asking for it for free. And I, and he was like, no, I'm not going to get you. I was like, I was like, oh, I, try, I promise you when I blow up, I will pay you back. And he was like, no, 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 you're not going to blow up. I was like, no, you know me, I'm going to blow up. And he's like, no, you won't. I was being dumb and cocky, but. Then again, I feel like that's kind of the attitude you have to have in order to greatly succeed in a certain field. Like it was kind Whoa, of douchey. Jesus shit. Christ, that is Aww. super douchey. Whoa. Yeah, Did you say yeah, that to I'll his literally. face? Or were you uh, I didn't get a chance because everyone else was uh, busy complimenting it. Whoa. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty douchey. <laughs> like if you're yeah. confident in yourself and maybe not cocky, but if you're confident in yourself confident, and you, yep. yeah, I think that that helps. So. Well, How I completely disagree, but. Yeah. <laughs> now that we have that context, let's actually read what Dream had to say about John Swan. He replies to the Reddit post by saying, This guy is bad news. A while back after I interviewed him for a Minecraft documentary, he changed his profile picture and name on Discord to mine and started DMing people pretending to be me. He sent people the n-word and a lot of other stuff, as well as said sexual stuff while claiming that it was me, where he would then from his main Twitter vouch that it was me, and said that we were amazing friends and linked the documentary to prove it. Once I confronted him about it, it very nicely given the circumstances, he said that his friend had hacked his accounts and done it. I didn't reply to him and unfollowed him, and I don't think he is super fond of me since then. John Swan responds to Dream by saying, Dream has made accusations about me on Reddit to try and smear my credibility, so I will respond here in detail to ensure that everything is perfectly clear. Back probably a year ago, I was visiting some family friends. One of the guys I was talking to was much younger than me and wanted to know about YouTube and what I did to make videos. Since I didn't have my PC with me, I logged into Discord on his laptop and showed him some things that I had screenshotted and sent other people. Before I left, I foolishly didn't log out of my account. He decided it would be a good idea to start trolling on my account with his friends, and used an alt account as well as my account to have conversations with about three different people. One of these was Harley TBS. He had used an alt account, changed its name and profile picture to Dream, and started saying some really strange stuff. It was like 12 year old humor. I was told the n word was said, but I have seen no evidence of that. But I did find convos about a Minecraft sex mod and other weird shit. As soon as I found out about it, I logged out of my Discord on all accounts and called up the parents of the guy who was involved. I spoke to him and explained to him how this stuff could have great impacts on other people, but he was young and didn't get it. But I did get him to change the account back and cease his conversations. As far as I know, he only messaged one person as Dream, that being Harley TBS, since he was the only person that was engaging at the time. That's the context of the situation, which I explained to Dream, albeit in much less detail. Really fucked up that he would try and twist it like this. There was no vouching on my main Twitter as well. That's just the lie, and didn't happen. This was exclusively Discord. To present the story that this was some big thing where I would message multiple people as Dream to try and ruin him is categorically untrue. It just shows his true character. Testimony
testimony from the person who took the information to Dream in the first place. He then shows a tweet from Harley that says, From listening to John's testimony and explaining the events, I would like to say publicly that I was the one who initially contacted Dream with the information. I do not believe John sent those messages. Dream is twisting it. He then also makes a Twitter video about the situation. Just wanted to hop on and speak about the John Swan thing because I think I have a few things to explain in that situation. But back when I first met John, before I knew him, I received some messages from his account, which included a account that was called Dream, right? And I messaged the account called Dream and it sent me the n-word along with other things, right? So not knowing John, I sent that to Dream and since then I believe that I was partially responsible for the fact that Dream now believes that John did all these things because when I spoke to John, and John clarified, I didn't believe him because it seemed like he was using an excuse. But I don't believe that John is responsible for anything, okay? I believe that, obviously, it was probably someone else, seeing how the words were written now and knowing John a lot better. So I don't hold John responsible, but I do hold myself partially responsible for what Dream believes now. However, I do believe the way that Dream has represented it, including cutting a lot of context and trying to turn it into John being unfollowed sort of thing, I feel like that's kind of scummy. Now this is where it gets really crazy. Dream responds to John Swan by saying, I really am not sure why you brought this to Twitter in response to a post on a random subreddit on a comment with 20 likes, but I can assume it's just for attention. I will reply anyway though because you were being unreasonable. I said in the Reddit post that you claimed it wasn't you. All this thread does is claim it wasn't you. Here's the exact DMs between me and you from a very long time ago to clarify. My post implies that I didn't believe your story, and that's because I didn't. He then shows the DMs there from February 2020 and it starts out with Dream saying, Are you DMing people about me? John replies, Wait, what? I haven't been on Discord in a bit. Okay, I can't log into it. That's actually very weird. You got messages from me? He responds, No, someone else did. John replies, Okay, that's fucking weird. I've gotta sort that out because I didn't send any laughing my ass off. I've not been on there for like three days. Dream responds, Lots of weird messages about how we're friends. And I hate Skeppy. And I'm working on a sex mod. And me saying the n-word and stuff. John responds, Okay, I definitely did not send any of those, unless the person who told you that is delusional. Okay, I got back in. One of my IRLs decided it was a good idea to fuck with my YouTube account where I had signed in on their PC. Apologies, man. They will be duly lectured. John Swan responds to Dream's tweets by saying, You posting this on a small subreddit doesn't make this any less of an accusation. You have 18 million subs. Shit like this spreads like wildfire. You know this. Don't try to downplay how big your influence is. The original person who sent the messages to you says they literally literally don't believe I sent the messages, and they were the main person involved. I don't know how you can still go around claiming this. It's just completely untrue and multiple people can back me up on this. I don't spend my time making alt accounts of creators and messaging random people on Discord talking about sex mods. This is insanity. Dream responds, I really don't care what you do in your free time. But at the time I had hundreds of reasons to be suspicious. How did you know it was Discord right away when I didn't mention it? And our primary communication was Twitter? How had we called on Discord just before? If you you didn't have access? Why did they use an alt discord to troll you when they had access to your discord as well? Why did they message people multiple things that made it seem like you? Why did they say they had your YouTube as well? Why did you say that you couldn't get in? These are all questions I had and definitely made me believe that you just screwed up with messing around and didn't think I'd realize what you did. Again, that's my opinion though. It was also multiple people that messaged me, not just one, and nothing you said refuted that. Either way, I'm done replying to this. I would have responded to you had you DM me, like your friend mentioned you did. I understand you don't like me at all, but demonizing me for what is at worst a misunderstanding, and at best, the truth, is very frustrating. Now, all of these messages from Dream were posted minutes apart from each other, so as they were being posted, John Swan responded to each tweet when it was the latest one that Dream posted. He responds to the first part by saying, I generally DM on Discord. My friends can back me up on this. He responds to the second part by saying, Let me respond to this point by point. I generally DM on Discord my friends can back me up on this. I have seen the DMs sent to Harley, and they were gloating about me being in a call with Dream. The alt account here is perfectly understandable. I am aware of only three people they messaged. If you have more, I would love to see them. The message I sent you was a typo. I meant to say Discord, not YouTube. I actually didn't remember why I wasn't able to get in, lol. Maybe bad connection? I used to live in a shit area. Also, our call happened in December. This was in February. Not sure what your point is there. John responds to the third part by saying, Who are the multiple people? I would love to know. The kid in my original thread only did this with Harley. Or at least that's what he told me. Multiple people couldn't have messaged you because multiple conversations didn't exist. And then in response to the final one he says, You took this to public without DMing me first. 
I'm not going to give you the same courtesy. Augie RFC tweets out, If Dream didn't believe John Swan, that implies he has no reason to trust John. I just want to know what his reason is. Generally, you give people the benefit of the doubt by default unless they are untrustworthy or give you snaky vibes. Optimus quote tweets one of Dream's responses to John and says, Dream formally responds to John Swan, thread in quoted tweet. Fireball Talks NASCAR responds, Dream already bombed him in likes. Optimus quote tweets him and says, Likes on Twitter mean nothing and the only people who genuinely use ratioing as a debate point rather than an internet meme or for the funny hahas are 12 year old children, especially when one creator has 18 million subscribers and one has barely six figures. As someone who has personally spoken to John Swan several times slash collaborated with him, I genuinely don't believe he'd do what Dream is accusing of him publicly. The fact that he spun this to make John look like a bad person goes against everything I've seen from John. It doesn't help Dream's case that multiple people have come out to corroborate details about John's story, which to me makes this look like a vindictive attack on John, meant to make him look bad intentionally, considering that loads of people have tried to get his attention. I don't have a problem with Dream like most people do, but when he's intentionally being disingenuous to try and make a small commentator look bad with what appears at this time to be false or slanted information, I'm definitely going to say something. Lemon Grab responds to Optimus by saying, why would he do something like that? That's so out of character. I don't know if anything like this has happened before, but we need more details. Will you make a video about this? Optimus responds, yes, I'm making a video about it. Essentially, John Swan got trolled by a younger family friend with his channel, and Dream has spun that into trying to say John Swan was responsible for that, even though he's apparently been aware of John's side of the story. Nicholas Diorio comments on all of this by saying, John Swan is being very uncharitable to Dream. Instead of defending himself publicly, he should have done the right thing and just bent over to take it, lol. Dream is such a condescending scumbag laughing my fucking ass off. He accused John of downright lying publicly on Reddit, and has the audacity to play the victim. Not only that, he acts like this altercation was John's fault, even though he, the massive YouTuber, started it laughing my fucking ass off. How insecure. You just want clout. Homie, nobody wants your freak Minecraft audience. I think the most perplexing shit is why Dream ran to his tiny ass subreddit under a random ass post to accuse John Swan of lying on his main account, laughing my fucking ass off. Over a video, might I add, that's not even going to be on John's main channel. This is happening because of a collab. Last Dreamer related tweet for a while, since people are confused. This drama started because Dream responded to a post complaining about John making a video. It's pretty cookie cutter, and doesn't take a rocket scientist to see what happened. John continued to tweet about the situation by saying, I'm so sorry about all the Dream related tweets on the timeline, but I just quickly wanted to add this. Why would I, as a creator wanting to get big on the platform, try to smear another popular creator by creating an alt account and sending troll messages to one person? This just makes no sense at all, optically and logically. Anyone that knows me in private knows I don't do shit like this. It just isn't true. Just a smear, plain and simple. Hobbs responds to John by saying, Dude, it was a comment on an unofficial subreddit with 22 upvotes. Why didn't you respond to it there? You were the one making this a huge drama. John Swan quote tweets him and says, Dream is an 18 million sub creator whose posts gain a lot of traction. He tried to ruin my character so I responded so that everyone could find it easily. Don't fault me for wanting to respond to false accusations. Keemstar then jumps in with his opinion when he tweets out, Dream is innocent. John Swan is not the victim. The Minecraft YouTuber Dream is getting criticism and hate right now, and it's unjustly and it's unfair because Dream is the actual victim in this situation. Let me explain. John Swan and Dream, a year ago, they get into a call, they do a collaboration on a documentary about Minecraft, right? That's how they meet each other on Discord. Then shortly after that, for some reason, John Swan starts messaging Dream's fans saying sexual stuff and racist stuff, and uh, a fake Dream account starts doing the same thing and they're working together. Now Dream sees this, confronts John Swan about this, and John Swan says, look man, my friend was on my account, I showed other people my account, I was still logged into Discord, they got in the account, they're the ones that made the fake Dream account, and they were the ones that were on my account saying this stuff, I'm sorry. That was the end of it, right? But now, let's fast forward a year uh, forward, John Swan is making multiple videos criticizing Dream. Whether it's legitimate or not, I haven't seen the content. So Dream gets a little defensive, makes a Reddit post saying, this guy's not acting in good faith. This is what happened a year ago. He was saying sexual stuff to my fans and then he claimed he was hacked, right? So John Swan sees this Reddit post, by the way, only has 20 likes makes a post on Twitter and says, look what Dream is trying to do to me. He's trying to ruin my credibility. And now I see the commentary community defending John Swan like John Swan is the victim in the situation. No, 
Dream is the victim in this situation. Dream's fans were the victim in this situation. And Dream doesn't have an obligation to believe John Tron's story or John Swan's story or whatever you say his fucking name. That's absolutely ridiculous. And I see the commentary community saying, well, Dream stands will just believe whatever he says and Dream stands will just support Dream. The commentary community has stands too. You're all brain dead. You're not looking at the situation logically. You're acting like fucking stands and you're just just taking John Swan's side when John Swan can't be the victim. It's impossible for him to be the victim. Dream does not have an obligation to believe John Swan's story. Dream is the victim in this situation and John Swan is not the victim. End of story. PewDiePie saw my response to Keemstar's Twitter video by saying, The problem with me was that Dream went straight to Reddit instead of handling this privately. Keemstar then quote tweets him with another Twitter video captioned, I'm calling BS. You know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You're stands. You're a fucking drone. You're not a logical person using your own brain, looking at the situation and coming to a conclusion. You are a fanboy. You're tweeting at me saying, the issue is, okay, we're moving the goalpost now. The issue is that Dream could have contacted John Swan it, privately in DMs. He didn't have to make the Reddit post. John Swan is a commentator uploading public videos, criticizing other fucking YouTubers. Did, did Dream lose the right to do the same? Did Dream lose the right to publicly criticize John Swan back? That's insane. That's literally insane. Like, this is what's going on in the brain inside, right? Uh, what, what do my friends think? What do my favorite YouTuber thinks? Okay, that's what I think. I'm not that way. And some of you are tweeting at me, Keemstar, read the room. Fuck the room. I don't give a fuck about the room. Keemstar says what Keemstar fucking believes. You don't. You got a drone. Nine, nine volt brain. Uh, what, what do my friends think? What do my favorite YouTuber thinks? That's what I think. I'm not you, motherfucker, and I don't care. Dear Dream Stands, don't get too attached. We will definitely be at war with each other again. Nicholas quote tweets Keem and says, If you genuinely believe this, you've survived on YouTube purely by chance. John Swan responds to Keemstar by saying, 1. I've never made any videos on Dream. 2. This happened with one person. The fake Dream account messaged one person. The phrasing here makes it sound like it happened multiple times and that it was repeated. 3. Where's the French girl interview? An 18 million sub YouTuber makes up lies about me on a subreddit where he thought I wouldn't see it. It's scummy, plain, and simple. Keemstar has always had a bias against me. And that is so clear today. At least I finally got unblocked, lol. Keemstar responds, I legitimately don't agree with you at all in this situation. And it has nothing to do with biased. And I only unblocked you so I could see your tweets. And understand your side before I voiced my opinions. And the clubhouse room last night was legendary. I may keep you unblocked. John Swan responds, I think you were dumb not to agree. Even the kid who was messaged by the fake dream account came out and said he didn't think it was me. But separating that, please get your info right when talking about this shit, lol. Don't misinterpret what happened to try and make me look bad. Keemstar responds, instead of a generalized statement, explain in detail what I said that was incorrect? Because my info comes from your public tweets and dreams response? John Swan replies, I mean read the first tweet. Points one and two my dude. Keemstar responds, one. I assumed based on dreams reddit post you were making videos on him. As I I said in my vid I did not see them. But you definitely have been on YouTube stream as talking about Dream? So what's the difference? 2. Messaging fans are messaging a fan, that's not a massive difference. And you started off this argument I saying Dream was attacking your credibility. According to you, you let a random person on your account? That's definitely going to hurt your credibility bro. John Swan responds, That was like a year ago when I had 6k subs laughing my ass off. I was definitely less responsible back then than I am now. Not logging out of my account? On me 100%. And I've taken responsibility responsibility for that. I should have been paying attention, but this was one isolated incident with one person. This never went any further than that. It's being hugely overblown by Dream. Keemstar responds, Based what happened, you have to acknowledge that Dream is the victim here. If someone made a fake Keemstar account and did the same thing, I would be absolutely furious. You come across like Dream is acting in bad faith by not believing you. That's ridiculous. John Swan responds, It was to one person dude laughing my ass off. This is hugely overblown. If it was to multiple people, sure, you might have a point. But I had no reason to spend my time doing this. None at all. There is absolutely no reason not to believe my story other than someone having it out for me. Keemstar responds, Is there any screenshot proof of what was actually said? John Swan replies, I believe Harley TPS had some, but I don't have any on hand with me right now. 
It was typical 12 year old trolling though, nothing more. Keemstar responds to John Swan by saying, Just watched the commentator say John Swan would never do this because it would ruin his career. You like everyone was very edgy in the past. You only had 6k subs at the time. I think you did it bro. Stop capping. John Swan responds lol dude, ask anyone who has been friends with me in the past 2 years. I would never do anything remotely like this. I was trying to grow my audience, there is no way in hell that I would risk it all for a dumb troll. Where's the motive? So many unanswered questions. Keemstar responds, motive? Trolling is fun, duh. How fast can you come to America? I say we do a lie detector test on drama alert. Don't be a pussy, be a proud swan. John responds, <laughs> I can't travel out of the country unfortunately. Aussie travel ban. Keemstar responds, I will set it up in your city on my dime. Have one of your mutual friends DM me the city you live in. John Swan responds, I think you blocked them all Keem. Keemstar responds, fine. I will DM you this one time, but it does not mean I want to. Or like you! Comet Cop responds, payroll. Keemstar then tweets out, I think I might ask Dream to come on Drama Alert for an interview, to talk about the John Swan thing. I don't like how twisted the story is getting. So Keemstar did actually end up doing this interview between Dream and John Swan, and here is what was said in it. Guys, today we have a debate with the YouTuber Dream versus John Swan. However, uh, right before this debate was about to happen, right when we were about to record, John Swan backed out. He had this statement. My manager has advised me not to go on Dromler at this time and respond on my own platform. I wish you luck in the interview. My manager has advised me not to go on Dromler at this time and respond in detail later on. I pride myself in thoroughness and research. Dream dropped a stream that he had prepared hours for, and I had 10 minutes to prepare for this interview on Dromler. I will be responding, but not here. I wish you luck in the interview, which is basically the same thing. Look, here's the thing, right? Yeah. I, I, if you lived it, if you were there, right? Why can't you just get on and talk about it, right? Like, it just it makes yeah. no sense to me. Kim then goes on to explain to his audience the Dream versus John Swan drama so far. To avoid repetition in this video, I'm just going to skip ahead. It's the story. Just no, it doesn't. It doesn't. it doesn't make any sense. And the thing is, there's so many inconsistencies and something I didn't even mention on my stream, which I think is such, such is actually a really big deal, is that in between the time period where he claimed he didn't have access to his account and he, he got hacked by the kid, the 12 year old kid that he says did it, um, his according to Harley, which is the only the only witness because Harley was the one that was being messaged, the account never went offline. So the account was online the entire time between when he claims he didn't have access and then he messaged them saying he did have access. And according to them, because it was only a 10 minute period, the account never went offline during that period. And so the account was online the entire time while he was apparently doing password resets and stuff. Um, but there, but that, that wasn't something I mentioned, but there's so many things that were just so inconsistent with what he was saying. Like I, saying it's a 12 year old, there's perfect grammar. It was sounded just like him. I mean, on his account, like he was using common, common words and stuff that he uses. He was speaking just like himself. And he said, and he started the conversation with the person that he messaged by by talking about a previous conversation they had had before yeah. bef before this conversation, which which the kid wouldn't know about if he wasn't John Swan. Um, so there's just a bunch of, I mean, that's why. And the thing is, I wasn't even planning on, I wasn't even th trying to make it a big deal. Like I, I commented on some random subreddit that had 20 likes. And then like I, he took with it. Is it possible it, that the person that was on allegedly on John Swan's account went back and read those messages to know what that previous conversation was, or, or was it an audio conversation? No, no cause it, it, was, it was actually on Twitter. And so, and they didn't have anything on Discord at all. So the problem was that there, it was actually impossible because uh, Harley made a new Discord account and the conversation he said was on Twitter. So like, none John, of it. John Swan, if you were just trolling, why not just admit it? You know, I heard some people, some people in the commentary community uh, make the argument like, you know, why would John Swan do this? This would completely ruin his career. Well, John Swan only had 6K subs at the time, right? Like, yeah, at the time he had 6K and, and that's, that to me, that was another big thing is like back then I had like 1.6 million. He had 6K. He reached out to me and I, I, I thought I was being nice. I went on his, I, I did an interview with him on his, uh, on his channel for a documentary. And um, I just happened to see his DM. And then later this is, <laughs> this is being caused problems. I'm like, what the hell? Like I, I, that's what I get for, you know, doing something nice. And I, I with this really YouTuber, wish but. John Swan was here because you know, the entire commentary community is on John Swan's side, right? I haven't seen any yeah. commentator, uh, be on your side, Dream. And then, of course, Dream, you and your massive fan base is on your side. And that's why I wanted yeah. to have this here because 
I feel like my audience, you know, many of my fans like don't aren't fans of either of you, right? And so I thought it would be a great place to to have this conversation. I've just been seeing a, a, like blatant hypocrisy in the commentary community over this subject. Like Optimus, a, a, a YouTuber and a commentary uh, channel that I, I love and respect, uh, you know, he was putting out uh, tweets basically saying that you need to denounce the, the behavior uh, of your audience and whatnot. And I'm thinking to myself like, when are commentary channels who are criticizing other YouTubers, when are they out there, you know, making statements, denouncing, uh, you know, their fans reaction to uh, content that is highly criticizing a YouTuber? Normally that fan base yeah. is talking smack about that YouTuber along with the commentator that they're not to denou- like it, yeah, it just seems like uh, the commentary community in, in many ways is one opinion. And I wish we could get to a place uh, back in the day where there were multiple different opinions and ideas were, um, you know, debated and battled because that doesn't seem to be happening anymore. Everyone seems to be, you know, on one team with one opinion, uh, which, you know, yeah. is very much like your fan base, right? Your fan base, is, you know, is on one team with one opinion. And that's why, uh, you know, it would be really interesting if we had both sides to see the outcome uh, of a neutral platform like this one. Yeah. Well, I, when I, I, cause I reached out to him telling him like, look, like all the, evi- all this, I mean, I have like 50 screenshots. I'll say, I'll, I'll send you them, but, uh, but I, that I was showing on stream and stuff. And I was like, all of it, it's like so, so obvious that it's not a, it's not a 12 year old. It has to be either you, one of your friends, something. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, why would he not admit it then? But the reason he wouldn't admit it is because of the fact that they said the N word in these screenshots. So it's like, if he admits it's him, then he's, you know, throwing his career out the window because then he gets canceled for being racist and right. whatever else, you know? So it's like, I think that's probably why, because it, to be fair, if you look at it, it's like, other than that, it's not that big of a deal. Like he's making, he like, obviously to me it is, but to anyone else it wouldn't be. He's just trolling, you know, whatever. He had 6K subs. He was trolling probably with a friend of his, um, messing around and whatever. And that's not, you know, that's not the biggest deal other than the fact that they said the N word. And I think that's why, that's why no matter what happens, they probably, they, they probably wouldn't admit, oh yeah, that wasn't, it wasn't a 12 year old, whatever. Um, just just because of that, and I think that kind of causes causes the problem. But I, I never planned on making it a big deal or anything. I feel like it's just that, and especially because of the commentary community likes picking up on things like this, especially involving me because it gets views. Um, it just causes like this small thing that was like a twenty like Reddit comment about my opinion to spiral into like John Swan versus Dream drama alert. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, that's kind of the uh, I don't know. So that's what was said on Drama Alert, and for those of you who've been paying close attention, you might have noticed that a couple times during that Drama Alert, Dream references a live stream he did on John Swan, which happened about 10 minutes before they recorded the Drama Alert. Here is what was said on that live stream. One year ago, I did a collaboration with a small YouTuber. I had, it was one year ago, it was February, or no, it was before that, but but I, I did a collaboration, I had like, a million subscribers or something like that and a small documentary channel reached out to me they had 6,000 subscribers you know I I thought I thought it'd be cool I thought it'd be a good idea I decided to do a collaboration it was cool the video was good it was a good video the collaboration was great I had a good time three months later that's when drama struck I got a DM from somebody who messaged me and said, somebody is impersonating you. So I get screenshots of of this impersonation account saying I was gonna make a a sex Minecraft mod, a realistic one, and saying the N word. I get a DM also from the same person saying that it was the person that I did the documentary channel that was doing it. So I reach out to this person. Dream then reads out the DMs between him and John Swan for his audience. At the time, I didn't, I didn't really believe them. I thought it's kind of, it's like the dog ate your homework. Like, no, it was my brother who got on my computer and, and DM'd you the N word. Like, okay, I didn't really believe it. I mean, that was, that was, that was my perspective, but I didn't say anything. As you can see, I didn't reply. There's no, okay, well, you can't, you can, you can pretend there's nothing there. Cause I did not reply. The DMs were empty. So he has claimed obviously that this man was not him. So let's find out. Dream then goes on to read the messages that John's family friend sent under his account during February of last year. He said, hello. Harley said, hi. He said, what's up? Harley said, nothing much. Just wanted to add you because you seem fun to talk to. They had priorly talked on Twitter 
but on Discord. He said, things not working out with LT Cobra. For context, LT Cobra is a friend of Harley's that John Swan knew about and was a prior relationship knowing that Harley was having issues with LT Cobra. Interesting. So apparently, Swan claimed to me earlier today that this was his 12-year-old friend that he hasn't spoken to in a year. How? I ask you, how would his 12-year-old friend know about Harley's relationship with LT Cobra? That doesn't that doesn't line up to me. I, I just like to say that it does not really line up to me. I mean, that is an interesting scenario. Unless his 12-year-old friend somehow knew about this because they had none, no prior Discord messages. None at all. Zero. Actually, none. So he couldn't even do research because Harley's old account was actually suspended. Oh, this is very epic. So what are you up to on this fine day, Mr. Swan? I'm in a call with Dream at the moment. He was not in a call with me. Yup. Keep that in mind. Now, what would you say? I mean, would you say yes, yep? Would you say yup? I mean, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you're one of the people in the world that say yup, right? Maybe you are. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind, yup. Let's do a language analysis. Keep in mind, yup. Keep that yup in mind, okay? Now, I have never, as far as I know, said yup in my entire life. So, <gasps> I rest my case. Okay, no, I don't, I don't rest my case. That's not it. That's actually not it. If that was it, that, that's probably enough, but that's not it. That's not it. He says yup. So, that's in his vocabulary. That's, in, that's an interesting, an interesting thing. Very interesting. He happens to say yup. His 12 year old friend happens to say yup, just like him. Cool. I've always wanted to meet him. His videos are interesting. I can never tell if it's a joke or serious anymore. Well, I mean, it depends on the video. Does he actually have a Discord server? I do. I do. Yes, I do. I'm not in it if he does. Is his Discord account private? I interviewed him for my Minecraft documentary and we've become such good friends since. He said, no idea. Harley said, that sounds pretty fun. Can I get his Discord? It's up to you, but I would love to learn more about how he develops his plugins. I am making my own game in Unity. Impressive. I'd like to ask him questions about how to do some stuff with that too. I wouldn't know. Anyway, that's not the point. Swan said, yeah, sure, give me a sec. Harley said, what have you done today? Anything interesting? And Swan said, yeah. I just recorded an exposed video on Skeppy. Harley said, ha ha ha, he's a funny guy. And John said, also scummy. Harley said, ha 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 ha, you did an exposed video? What did you expose him for? Juan said, he steals code. Interesting 12 year old, keep in mind, this is a 12 year old, according to John Swan. 12 year old, he steals code. <laughs> Let's look at this verbiage, exposed video. Now, if I was saying that, I would say exposed video, expose video. I don't know what you would say. Maybe you would say exposed video, but let's just say maybe the odds are, maybe the odds are 50-50. Maybe the odds are 50-50. Let's see what John Swan himself says. And there's, there's plenty more where this came from. I mean, he's made, he's, 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 he's used this vernacular plenty of time. Exposed videos. Exposed video. I mean, it's just the D. That's the only thing I'm interested in. The D. I, I wouldn't, I would do that without, without the D. Exposed video. I, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say, maybe he happens to have, yup, exposed video. Maybe. Who knows? Anyway, he said, any spams uploads which, with duplicate content against YouTube's terms of service. That is a smart, a smart 12 year old who happens to know YouTube after having apparently asked Swan about YouTube and talked to him for, 10 seconds. He steals code though. This is important because this is a relevant thing. Because back then people were saying, oh, Skeppy steals code in his videos and things like that um, in the commentary community, which just so happens to be the community that Mr. Swan resides in. Anyway, let's just say 12 year old understands. He understands the commentary community. He's, he's in on the know. He knows all of that. He knows about the YouTube TOS. You should enforce TOS across all levels. He has impeccable, I don't know, like spelling and grammar and I don't know. Let's move on. I was just talking to Dream about him. No, you weren't. Um, but YouTube won't. He agrees. No, I don't. 
I asked for a DM to verify it's him. Kind of sketchy. He DM'd me. It's him. Then record a few seconds of audio. Um, dude, I literally interviewed him for my Minecraft documentary. Have you watched the video? Doesn't mean this isn't a dummy account from one of your friends. What? Dude, this is stupid. You can make a fake account to copy it, though. Dream doesn't DM people the n-word and shit. That is true. That is very true. I I don't. I will I will I will publicly officially say that I do, I do not I do not do that. That is that is that, definitely not. Oh, he DM'd you that. Lamau. Ha ha. That was for me. Ha ha ha. Blah, blah, blah. I have his Discord. It's like I know that's not him. Well, obviously you don't because you asked me for it. I mean that that's some that's some high level sarcasm. I mean, well, obviously you don't because you asked me for it. If you asked me for it, you wouldn't have Discord. That is some that's some smack talk. Swan's going for the the I don't even know the takedown the WWE Smackdown but is this a 12 year old that's the question I wanted to verify validity Swan yeah he's talking about you dude you don't have to be a dick oh see he doesn't want me him DMing me um I am not it's just real suspicious if it's really him get him to respond to my DM on Twitter I think he stopped caring about you that's a fake he's a busy man he's not interested in clout chasers so then, what if I told you I am a $35 supporter to his Patreon? Patreon.com slash dream was taken. He said that. It's just not there. And have access to his private dream supporter server. And he has a different hashtag. Then I would tell you that he has two accounts. This is later. I mean, it's just him doing the ha 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 thing. A lot of people do that. It's not much. But again, it's just, it's just when you have similar, like, you have a similar speech to somebody else. It's just... I don't know. It's it's interesting. It's very interesting. I mean, he says ha ha ha. He says ah, ha ha ha, which obviously, and that that's the real John, by the way. This is the confirmed. This is confirmed real John. And then, according to him, this is fake fake John. Fake John. I mean, I'm not saying that that means anything, but it, it kind of. I mean, it means something. But like, you can add it all together. I mean, it's just it, it doesn't it doesn't mean much, but it still does mean something. This is just all my research. I mean, I did research. I did plenty of research into this subject. Okay, but the smoking gun is yet to come. The smoking gun is yet to come. He said, I don't care about that. I do not want to end your career. Just, just be honest. I know that isn't dream. Dude, I don't care. What else do you want from me? I don't know. Just be honest. It ain't dream. Okay, dude. Whatever you say. I just know I interviewed him for my Minecraft documentary and became good friends with him afterwards. That's all. That's a fake account, though. I mean, Harley seems like very smart. Harley is persistent. Harley's not... Harley's not taking taking bullshit, right? Harley is going at him. He's like, no, this is fake. I know it's fake. Stop telling me it's real. Even though he's made a video with me, he he was not he was not taking mess. He was he was going for he was going for it. He's popping off, and then Harley DMs and says, "So now what?" And sent screenshots of me saying it wasn't me. They just like it ended his career. He got him with the so this you this you. And this was a day, this was, this was a day later. This, cause they're in weird time and they have like the eight that goes first. This is a day later. He says, can I call you about this? As this is relatively serious. I'd just like to confirm you haven't been hacked. I need to call you. This is a day later. I mean, it's been a whole day. This has been happening. I need to call you to confirm it's you. What? Mate, don't spam me. Sorry, I'm at a party, mate. Will you be home anytime soon? I just need to verify it's you. Is there any way that you can prove you are 100% John Swan so that the argument that you've been hacked goes out the window? If you are John, Unless you've been behind the dream fake account, you'd have no reason to not confirm who you are. So, so it's real you now, right, Swan? Yeah, okay, nice. Another, is it, can we call it any point soon just so I can go over all the stuff that was said and hear how you feel about this and shit. From like the dream two account, you can see stuff. He says, another time, mate. This is not John. This is John. I'm saying this is not John. This is John. I'm gonna call with him with a screenshot. Two different people. Keep that in mind. Most likely, two different people in on this meme. These are the messages between fake dream. Ignore this. Ignore this for now. This is this is like this is the new name on the account. Ignore this. This is the, this is fake dream. Hi. And he goes, oh, I want to get in contact with you. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, wrong person. Oh, because he just sent the N-word. And then he said, sorry, wrong person. But it got deleted because he deleted it. Anyway, yeah, my day has been good. Thanks for asking. Just got finished up with this Minecraft sex mod. It's looking really realistic. <laughs> Uh, what? Huh? Is this gonna be a video? <laughs> this is, by the way, this used to be me. This used to be Dream with a Dream profile picture. Well, of course. I think it will bang. YouTube algorithm finna slaughter you. True, Harley. True. Harley is coming out of this on top. Looking very intelligent. Not sure what's funny about it. 
I've put a lot of time and effort into perfecting this. I think it's gonna be one of my proudest pieces of code. <laughs> Sounds it. I'm guessing you ain't the real dream, because you don't have social link, but this, still, this discussion is funny, so I would like to continue it. The reason I do not have my socials linked is because I don't like my close friends knowing I have a YouTube channel. But you're the same name. If they search anywhere, they'll find you. Not to worries about that, lol. Okay, I will DM you on Twitter. I DM you on Twitter. Could you respond? Anyways, I guess John has wasted my time by telling me to add you. It seems like you're just here to criticize my work and throw comments about the validity of my account. No, I am not. I want to know how you make them, but I need verification it's you. That's reasonable. Nicholas Diorio. Who's that? Well, that is the new name on the fake dream account. The new name. It has a new name and profile picture. That's how Discord works. But Harley was able to find the old account and it has the new name, Nicholas Diorio. Instead of dream with a dream profile picture. So who is Nicholas, you may ask? That is a good question. This is Nicholas. Drama YouTuber. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, this is Nicholas. That's interesting. Why is the old fake dream account now called Nicholas? Let's see, I'm going on his second YouTube account. His most recent posts, he has Old Town Road cover, John Swan, homicide cover, John Swan. I'm Alex's next victim, there's some other ones. This isn't John Swan, this is John Swan's best friend. My question is how is it all linked? So what we know is the new name on the account, which wasn't changed after this was brought up. It was not changed after this was brought up. It was not. Harley was able to confirm that with screenshots and witness testimony from that before this all happened, this name was Nicholas Diorio. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Why is the new account that used to be called Dream that was an alt account, apparently of this 12 year old who is a family friend called Nicholas Diorio, John Swan's best friend. They've been friends for a long time from what I did my research. They've been tweeting about each other. I had a secret account, join their discord and, and look at their messages. They, it, it seemed interesting. They seemed like very good friends. Why would this randomly be? So these are the scenarios here. One, the 12 year old is a genius, a mad genius who knows how to perfectly mimic John Swan's vernacular, his mannerisms, the way he speaks, has information about Harvey's friends without ever having spoken to him before and have no past messages that then now, a year later, is still a criminal mastermind using Nicholas Diorio's name on the old fake dream account. For some reason, a man with 50,000 YouTube subscribers who has no relevance to this situation other than that he is John Swan's friend or it was John Swan. Now, which is more likely? That is not for me to decide. I can't log in. He left his account signed in on a 12 year old's computer and he can't log in. Well, that's not how that works. If, if you left your account on somebody else's computer, then you can still log in. It's just they can log in too. I mean, it's not like he knew your password and was able to change your password or anything. And you had to submit a password request or anything. I actually can't remember why I was able, why I wasn't able to get in. Maybe bad connection. The house of cards falls. It continues to fall. You cannot build a house of lies without having inconsistency after inconsistency after inconsistency. Allegedly. Maybe bad connection to the point where I had to submit a password reset request. Maybe I was trying to act like I was hacked, but at the same time claiming that I left it on someone else's computer, which doesn't work because you don't need to reset your password using a password reset request if you have access to the account. And you don't need to have, if you have bad connection, that doesn't mean you don't have access to the account in which he claims he has access to the account. And if you left it on a PC, on their PC, that doesn't mean that you can't log in. Now, apparently, according to Harley, they said that he originally claimed it was his cousin. Apparently he said to someone else that it was his sister. He said to me, it was a family friend that he hasn't spoken to. He went on record yesterday saying he has not spoken to this person that is a family friend, not related to him at all, apparently. That's 12 years old that he says has autism that has now apparently having not spoken in a year to this person is now Apparently, framing 
a random commentary YouTuber, Nicholas Diorio, with 50,000 subscribers. It doesn't make any sense. The, the dots, they, they, none of them connect. None of them connect to each other. Somehow, Nicholas Diorio is is the is the count that used to be Dream, and like that's random. It's it's like his best friend. Like so, this is my theory. John Swan saw an opportunity to troll, and he took it. He decided to troll. He was probably in a call with his friend Nicholas Diorio. Nicholas then you know messaged him as Dream and said some dumb stuff, and they were just making their, you know they were having fun. Other than the fact that they sent the N word, they were, they were just they were messing around. They said some dumb Minecraft sex mod stuff. Then they forgot about it and change it back. Now, this, uh, this isn't his main Discord account. I've confirmed that this is not his main Discord account, but could be an alt. But this name being here makes no sense whatsoever. Other than that, it's either John on his, an alt, which is, it could be likely, except for this, which I talked about earlier. His mic, not muted. His mic, not muted. He's talking, he's not lighting up. This is John Swan. Who's this? Nicholas. Not showing any, no, not throwing any accusation out there, but that's just, that's just a theory, a game theory. This account, although the account was recently cleared out and left all their Discord servers, they weren't quick enough. Harley was able to confirm that this account, Nicholas Diorio, was in one Discord that was shared with Harley. It was a YouTuber Discord that happened to have John Swan and Nicholas. Nicholas's actual Discord account and this one in the Discord. So let's just go over the evidence from the beginning. First, John Swan claims that he, he left his account on a 12-year-old family friend's computer who he hasn't spoke to since this incident and has no idea any involvement he has, no idea anything he did, that then decided to make a fake dream account as well as use John Swan's main account to troll a random person, Harley. And then, on top of that, decided to act just like John, say things that John would only know about, like LT Cobra. John, in relation to Harley, that Harley confirmed, John would only know about, would use common phrases and vernacular that's, that John Swan uses, like yup, and other things like exposed video, and things like that. Mentioning the YouTube TOS, and specific things from it, like duplicate content. Knowing Skeppy uploaded a lot at the time, you should enforce the TOS across all levels. Using intense sarcasm, well, obviously you don't know because you had to ask me for it. Using grammar on a computer, nonetheless. Grammarly must have been installed. That's what we learned. This went on for two days. This is eight. This is seven. He's able to get back access to his account very quickly. He said, don't spam me. I'm at a party. This 12-year-old is a party animal. Uses the same phrasing again. Uses mate. Same grammar. Punctuation. Punctuation. Capitals, capitals. It's the exact same as this 12 year old. Capitals, even even on the um, a capital. The fake account changed to the best friend of John Swan, Nicholas Yorio, randomly. This 12 year old has decided to pretend to be a 50,000 subscriber commentary YouTuber that's friends with John Swan, because I don't know, he wanted to, before any of this happened. John Swan said he didn't lose access, but he requested a password reset. Or he, and he sent it as proof that he lost access. He said he just had bad internet connection, and that's why he couldn't connect to his account, and that it wasn't actually lost. He then used Harley to say that Harley had changed their opinion, and that Harley thought that it, was, it wasn't him anymore, even though Harley made a video back then that John did not like at all, and said some things to interesting things to Harley about. But Harley has tweeted recently, after speaking to Dream, I'm unlisting my video and I won't be saying anything further at this point. I'll leave my prior statements up. Just know I'm not confident in them anymore. His key witness has backed out after hearing the information that was presented. Caught in 4K. That's all I have to say, okay? Caught in 4K. I mean, I, I will say, I, I usually don't express negative opinions like this. I posted a comment on a subreddit in a comment a, a comment that had 20 likes and somehow it became like this huge YouTube that that like 15 commentary channels Make like a hundred thousand view videos on saying dream is manipulative and he's a liar We can revisit the original comment. I made everything I said was true Every single thing and even John agrees with everything I said He just says well, it wasn't me. I said that you said it wasn't you 
I said he said that his friend hacked his account and done it. What? What was I lying about? I even gave you the benefit of the doubt and put that information there that you claimed it wasn't you. And I didn't even express opinion. I didn't go, oh, he said it wasn't him, but I know it was him. I just said I didn't reply and I unfollowed him. That's all I said. I, I didn't even, I implied, I implied, but somehow this turned into me getting exposed because everybody has to turn everything into drama on Twitter nowadays. I get, and I'll say this, I gave John every opportunity, to be honest. I gave him every opportunity. I messaged him. I had conversations with him. I was telling him, hey, look, dude, like, I know it was you. I know it was you on the account. Like, I, there's, there's, there's heaps of evidence that either it was you or you're just not telling us the full story. I gave him opportunity. I was like, look, I don't even want to, I don't want to cause problems. I don't want to cause anything to happen. I'd rather just us work it out and I want to know what's going on. And he's like, okay, well, I, you know, I have nothing to say. And I was like, okay, fair enough. I tried. I tried my best. That's why I made this stream because I, I just hate when people think that, I don't know, like, it's, it's, it's very frustrating. Everything, like, a comment with 21 likes became, like, this, this million view catastrophe on YouTube with tons of channels and tweets, and I'm a liar, apparently, for, for nothing. Form your opinion if you want. If you disagree with me after seeing all that evidence, that's fine. If you, if you think you want to give him the benefit of the doubt, that's fine. I'm not a liar, though. I'm not a liar and it's perfectly reasonable for me to assume that he was being dishonest and not even tell anybody that not even tell anybody that but just assume that he was probably being dishonest based on everything that I knew and everything that I had seen it was reasonable it was reasonable so even if you you don't think that's enough to convince you for whatever reason or you don't like me and that, so you're gonna stick to that opinion that's fine that's fine I'm not a liar I did not lie about that I was I was telling the truth about everything that I said and I was sharing my opinion. And opinions on the internet don't really work anymore, but that's that. So, Detective Dream, like I said, feel free to form your own opinion. I've expressed mine. You know, I'm not I'm not a god. I'm not I'm not an always right being or something. You can form your own opinion. I just think personally as an analytical and logical thinker that there is it's it's obvious. It's very obvious. And I after I talked to Harley for 10 minutes after afterwards, Harley was basically saying the same thing. Today we will be reacting to the tweets in response to Dream Stream on John Swan. The first tweet is from Harley TBS who previously vouched for John Swan. He tweets out, After speaking to Dream, I'm unlisting my video and won't be saying anything further at this point. I'll leave my prior statements up. Just know I'm not confident on them anymore. Optimus reacts to the stream by saying, Dream makes the point that John Swan mentioned Discord without any prior indication that the messages were sent through Discord. Honestly, not sure what to think of that one. Perhaps John Swan only messaged him through there? Not sure. Dream now focusing in on the usage of the word yup by John Swan in DMs. Apparently this is the same word that the 12 year old friend used? Really confusing to be honest. He's not presenting the evidence very well whatsoever. Needed more planning in my opinion. Dream still sort of using the vernacular similarities between the supposed 12 year old who hacked John Swan and John himself. Insinuates that there isn't enough spelling errors and vocabulary differences to reasonably believe it was a kid. Dream has yet to concretely prove that the account wasn't breached by the way. His damning evidence so far literally have been the usage of the words yup and mate. Both extremely common words especially in a place like Australia. He said the smoking gun has yet to come and has spent the entire time rambling on about two words being used, and now Nicholas Diorio was somehow involved. This is perhaps the worst defense stream I've ever seen. He is now insinuating that Nicholas Diorio was behind the account? Dude, if any commentary channel got on there and acted this way, with such little evidence, they'd be toasted by the entirety of the community for years. That's all I'm saying. What house of cards is falling, Dream? You haven't proven anything. You've brought up random shit with no connection to anything with copyright-free dramatic music. If he didn't have a stan army, this would be a career-destroying meltdown laughing my ass off. Scrubby responds to Optimus by saying, nah bro, Nicholas Diorio is John Swan. Tyrone responds to Optimus by saying, I'm not too caught up on this, but it all seems like a joke. Optimus quote tweets him and says, You don't joke by essentially accusing two people of shit like this. This isn't a joke. It's a shitty method of defense. Nicholas Diorio, who was literally never involved whatsoever in the story until a random straw from Dream's ass got pulled, now being harassed by hundreds of Dream stands on Twitter. I'm sure Dream will denounce this shitty behavior quite soon like he usually does. Keemstar responds to Optimus by saying, Why does Dream have to denounce his fans' shitty behavior? when almost no one in the commentary community denounces their own fans' shitty behavior. Optimus quote tweets him and says, When are commentary channels having hundreds of their fans literally harassing people to 
no end because they merely got mentioned for 30 seconds. When did Nick do this? Me? Anyone respected in the community? Feel free to let me know, Keem. Keem still responds, You are joking, right? That shit happens all the time. Where have you been for the last seven years? I think Leafy is probably the greatest example of this. Optimus quote tweets him and says, Let's see an example of when that's happened from someone calling Dream out on this. In fact, I openly challenge you to find an example of me doing this, since we are talking here. After this back and forth, Keemstar announces that Jon Swan has backed out of the debate with Dream on Drama Alert, and then shares his thoughts on it in this Twitter video. And I just want to put this disclaimer out there. Um, based on everything I've seen so far, I've been on Dream's side, and uh, Jon Swan was concerned that, you know, he was going to walk into a situation that was two versus one. I told him that of course I'm gonna voice my own opinion on my platform, but every single one of his points would be heard. He wouldn't be interrupted. He'd be able to give his point. And I have the right to change my opinion, right? If John Swan put together a pretty compelling case, I might change my opinion, right? But he wanted me to just like be a moderator and not voice my opinion whatsoever on my platform. And I was like, uh, no, I'm gonna voice my opinion on my own platform and what I feel about the situation. Um, so now this is my biggest fear is that John Swan and the rest of the commentary community that are defending him are going to pull the victim card and well, of course, John Swan wouldn't go on there because it would have been two versus one and Keemstar is biased and all that. Look, if you guys want to like play the victim card and say that you're afraid of going into a call where it might be a two versus one situation, that's you publicly saying I'm a pussy, all right? Live with that, own it, be a victim, be a bitch, um, but that's on y'all. Optimus responds to Keem by saying, Okay, I will definitely say not a good look for John here whatsoever. Even if he was afraid it'd be rigged against him. At least he should show up for the conversation, in my opinion. Monkey responds to Optimus by saying, It was a lose-lose situation. If he backed out, he's a coward. If he goes on, he'll be destroyed with both Keem and Dream pinned against him. Optimus quote tweets him and says, I guess, but even then, why not take the opportunity to get your side out there even more? It's a free signal boost to be on Drama Alert. Optimus then gives us an update on the situation when he tweets out, John Swan DM'd me and explained his reasoning for not going on Drama Alert with Keemstar and Dream. I still disagree with him not going on, but this is his personal reasoning. The DMs start out with John saying, Just to provide some context, Keem gave me 10 minutes to prepare for the interview with Dream. I had no idea Dream was going to stream, and it's literally 6am and I'm running on no sleep. So yeah, I'm not going on drama alert, laughing my ass off. Optimus responds, Am I free to share these DMs in my video? John responds, Yes, go ahead. I'm staying off Twitter for a while to avoid the stands. Optimus responds, Okay, appreciate it, and have a good night. Keemstar quote tweets Optimus and says, that's absolutely false. John Swan agreed to the interview at 2.45 p.m. EST. John Swan backed out of the interview at 4.22 p.m. EST. 10 minutes to prepare my ass. And why do you need time to prepare? He lived this situation in real life. After all of this back and forth on Twitter, John Swan thanked people for defending him when he tweeted out, I just wanted to say that I appreciate everyone's kind messages. I would have literally gone insane if it wasn't for all of you. Not gonna lie, I felt like absolute shit yesterday, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I will be responsible. Responding, but I need to take some time off for myself first. Brandon responds, Meditate, John. And then I think John misread it as mediate because he responded by saying, I actually talked to Dream in private yesterday to do just that, and I offered to end the drama, but the man ignored it and streamed to 300k people. A couple days later, Kavos interviewed Dream about the John Swan situation, and John reacted to it on Twitter by saying, After watching Kavos' interview with Dream, I'm no longer convinced that Dream brought up this year old situation maliciously. I genuinely think he is just very inexperienced when it comes to responding to drama, and my initial tweet responding to him may have been too harsh. I also think that sometimes he's just painfully unaware of how much influence he truly has. Growing from 1 million subscribers to 18 million in a year can definitely not be easy. I'm going to be changing elements of my response to reflect this. As Dream has stated a few times, this has been blown out of proportion, and I agree. I'm aiming for my response to be the end to this drama, and to try and be as fair as possible to Dream's side therein. He then posts that response five days later, 
And alongside it, he tweets out, I know many of you were expecting a video, so why did I choose to respond in this way? This drama has never been about profit for me. It was about clearing my name. I'm not looking to capitalize on this drama by creating a video. It's already been blown up far too much. I'm looking to end this off as peacefully as possible, and dropping a video is not the right way to do that. This response is simply to give my side of the story, and the people that are interested enough will find it. I hope you all respect my decision. Alright, so getting into the document itself, it starts out with John Swan saying, For those of you who are reading, you are probably already aware of my recent drama with Dream. This situation has blown up far more than I ever thought, and I plan for this to be the final thing I say on it. I take these allegations seriously, but to address everything completely, I need to go into great detail, hence the length of this document. However, this isn't a document to trash on Dream or expose him. Without proper context, I can understand why he believed what he did, and I don't blame him for anything. This is simply to give my side of the story. Innocent until proven guilty is a phrase that has lost a lot of significance as of recent. It seems people disregard it entirely in favor of passing judgment based on circumstantial evidence, but who can really blame people when the evidence is presented without proper knowledge or context? Now the first few pages of this document basically go over everything I've already covered in previous videos, so I'm gonna skip ahead to when we get new information. If you need a refresher, you can pause and read these parts of the document, or go back and watch my previous video on this situation. Either way, let's start off with John Swan answering some of Dream's questions that he posed to him on Twitter. The first question was, How did you know it was on Discord right away when I didn't mention it and our primary communication was Twitter? John Swan answers by saying, Pretty much every single DM I send is on Discord, apart from reaching out to people or if the person in question doesn't use Discord much. I had 6k subs at the time of this situation occurring, over a year ago, and from what I remember, I barely used Twitter at all. If I was DMing people, it was over Discord. The next question is, how had we called on Discord just before if you didn't have access? John Swan answers by saying, I think Dream's memory is failing him here. Our only call was on November 19th, 2019. The date of this situation occurring was February 8th, 2020, over three months later. To be honest, I don't blame him for not remembering everything with 100% accuracy. I've not been able to remember everything either. It shows how absolutely inconsequential this was to both of us at the time. The next question is, why did they use an alt discord to troll you when they had access to your discord as well? John Swan answers by saying, The kid who was using my account to troll also created a fake Dream account to mess with Harley. The DMs from my account gloat about being in a call with the Dream. The alt account here is perfectly understandable. I'm not sure what his point is. The next question is, Why did they message multiple people multiple things that made it seem like you? John Swan answers by saying, You're asking me why the kid did it? I have no idea. I can't read his mind. However, I only know of three people the kid messaged using my account. Lieutenant Cobra, Harley, and one other person. Harley was the only one who responded. After I got back into my account, I unsent the message to the one unnamed party to clean up the mess the kid made. I had barely talked to this person and it would have been way too complicated to explain. I initially thought I left the message to Cobra sent, but looking back recently shows no evidence of it, so I must have unsent that one as well. To be honest, I can't remember. This was over a year ago. The next question is, why did they say they had your YouTube as well? John Swan answers by saying, this is clearly a typo. I meant to say Discord. The whole conversation pertains to Discord. The next question is, why did you say that you couldn't get in? John Swan answers by saying, honestly, I can't recall, but I do have a possible explanation, and it's something only my Australian friends can relate to. Many areas in Australia have poor mobile reception, especially while traveling. I used to live in one of these areas. Apps like Twitter do not need a constant stable connection in order to send DMs or scroll the website. Discord does. If you do not have a constant connection, Discord will keep looping connecting at the top of the screen, and won't refresh any messages at all. Aussies can back me up on this one I'm sure. The rest of these aren't questions, but statements that I would like to refute regardless. The first statement is from Dream's Twitter where he said, It was also multiple people that messaged me, not just one, and nothing you said refuted that. John Swan answers by saying, When I confronted the kid in question, he told me he had only messaged one person from the Dream account, that being Harley. I did not see any evidence of him engaging with others on my account, other than the ones I have already mentioned so I would love to know who the other people are that he is referring to. Dream did say to me in private that he couldn't remember, and that is perfectly understandable. This was over a year ago, and we both forgot things. The next tweet from Dream said, I would have responded to you if you had DM'd me. John Swan responds by saying, Dream brought this situation into the public from over a year ago out of nowhere. I certainly was not going to message him if he wasn't going to give me the same courtesy. I mean, if this bothered him so much to the point of responding to some random person on a small subreddit who made a post with a screenshot from my Twitter, why didn't he just DM me earlier to clear things up? I would have responded to him. 
I'm not sure what his point is here, especially when he left me on red a year ago, which he admits to. The next statement is from Dream's Reddit post where he says, giving his main Twitter to vouch, where he would then from his main Twitter vouch that it was me, and say that we were amazing friends and link the documentary to prove it. John Swan replies by saying, this simply never happened. The kid never had access to my Twitter. In fact, this was the one allegation that has never seen any extra evidence whatsoever. Dream has glossed over it in every response he has made. But again, this was probably just him remembering incorrectly. I've said it a number of times already, but this happened over a year ago. The next statement from Dream's Reddit comment says, Said sexual stuff while claiming that it was me. This may not be the most substantial point, but to me, sexual stuff implies a little more than a single comment about a Minecraft sex mod. But this could just be him remembering things wrong again the Twitch stream. The day after our Twitter back and forth, Dream surprised everyone when he decided to do a 56 minute live stream to 300,000 people going over the allegations, where majority of the time was spent discussing the DMs that were sent between the kid that hijacked my account and Harley TBS. Since this is a Twitch stream and a bit harder to respond to in Google Doc form, I've clipped relevant sections with timestamps for each important section that I'll be addressing. One small clarification before we move on. I never stated anywhere that the kid was 12. I said the kid used 12 year old humor, but I don't know the kid's age. He could be 13 or even 14 for all I know. In fact, I believe I said around 12 to dream in private. The assumption that the kid was 12 makes up a lot of Dream's response, so it's important to keep in mind as we go on. He then shares the first clip he's going to respond to. He said, things not working out with LT Cobra. For context, LT Cobra is a friend of Harley's that John Swan knew about and was a prior relationship knowing that Harley was having issues with LT Cobra. Interesting. So apparently, Swan claimed to me earlier today that this was his 12-year-old friend that he hasn't spoken to in a year. How, I ask you, how would his 12-year-old friend know about Harley's relationship with LT Cobra? That doesn't, that doesn't line up to me. I, I just like to say that it does not really line up to me. I mean, that is an interesting scenario, unless his 12-year-old friend somehow knew about this because they had none, no prior Discord messages. None at all, zero, actually none. So he couldn't even do research because Harley's old account was actually suspended. John Swan responds to this by saying, In this clip, Dream puts forward an argument that there is no way the kid can know about Cobra's prior relationship with Harley. This would have been one of the most compelling arguments in the entire stream, but there is a bit of a problem with this. Cobra scrolled up in our DMs to the day prior to the incident taking place, and found some screenshots that explain his knowledge perfectly. He then shows the screenshots that were sent by Cobra on the 7th of February 2020. They show DMs between Harley and Cobra. The first one is from Cobra who says, God, you were just as annoying as I remember. Remembered, Harley responds, Not really. Just because you are an egotistical edgy teenager doesn't mean that I am. I am not annoying. You are just incoherent, absent, and shit at replying. Now would you please unban me from your discord so that I can continue my escapades into your future disputes. Thank you kindly. Cobra responds, Why are you deleting messages, lol? Also, I'm not shit at replying. I'm just purposely not replying to you, lol. Harley responds by saying, I'm trying to develop a more professional online representation slash proportional representation of myself. Instead of my ADHD traits like spam slash bulk messages and impatience, they are issues I'm trying to get over. My solution is to build them up then create a full message. Sorry if that irritates you. Cobra responds, and third, can you stop speaking like a fucking retard as you try and hammer this, I'm not immature anymore and I'm professional? It's so cringe and apparent. Harley responds, I'm not trying to not immature anymore bullshit. I'm trying to become more professional. I'm making a consistent effort, unlike you, to become more professional. I want to be more professional, so I am trying. I am drifting my content away from shit posts, spending much more time on good videos, lots of that shit. I want to become a better person, a more professional person. Cobra responds to quote, proportional representation. Do you even know what that means? Laughing my ass off. Harley responds, I know I am not professional. I'm trying to become professional. Proportional representation is representation of a unit as a single. I treat myself as several people as I react in so many different ways. I am trying to represent them into one. Cobra responds, yeah, you are not using that word correctly, lol. Harley responds, I am. It's very much the meaning. Cobra responds, can you stop speaking like Siri for five minutes? Harley responds, or at least I'm trying. Cobra 
Harper responds, like I'm communicating with a fucking robot here. Harley responds, okay, you want me to talk normally? Alright, how was your day? Mine's been shit. My granddad's got cancer and I might be moving back to England due to financial issues. Cobra responds, I'd much prefer if you didn't speak at all, laughing my ass off. John Swan continues to document by saying, Around 24 hours later is when the kids started using my account. I wasn't active in the community around this time due to some personal stuff, so there wouldn't have been many, if any, unread messages, other than a missed call and a single message from none other than Lieutenant Cobra. The messages sent about Harley by Lieutenant Cobra were likely the first thing the kids saw when he started using my account. The timestamp for the message below following the missed call is 12.41am. I think this refutes his point. I can recognize, however, that without this information, it looks really bad, and I don't blame Dream for jumping to this conclusion. He also mentions in a fleeting comment that the messages about professionalism are strange as well, but if you look at the original DMs between Cobra and Harley, the word professional is used seven times in a single screenshot. It seems that the entire conversation has been ripped straight from those screenshots. John Swan then shows the next clip he's going to respond to. Yup, keep that in mind. Now, what would you say? I mean, would you say yes, yep, would you say yup? I mean, maybe. Maybe. Maybe you're one of the people in the world that say yup. Now, I have never, as far as I know, said yup in my entire life. I rest my case. Okay, no, I don't, I don't rest my case. That's not it. That's actually not it. If that was it, that, that's probably enough, but that's not it. That's not it. He says yup. So, that's in his vocabulary. That's, in, that's an interesting, an interesting thing. Very interesting. He happens to say yup. His 12-year-old friend happens to say yup. Just like him. John Swan responds to this by saying, In this clip, Dream does a language analysis, comparing the DMs of the kid to the ones he found in a server. He claims that the usage of the word yup makes me guilty, since I've said it before and he has never said it in his entire life. Well, should we look at who else says yup to see if it's a convincing argument? He then shows screenshots of other YouTubers saying yup. He then moves on to the next clip. Let's look at this verbiage. Exposed video. Now, if I was saying that, I would say... Expose video. Expose video. Maybe the odds are 50-50. Let's see what John Swan himself says. And there's there's plenty more where this came from. I mean he's made he's 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 used this vernacular plenty of time. Exposed videos, exposed video. I mean it's just the D. That's the only thing I'm interested in. The D. I, I wouldn't I would do that without without the D. Exposed video. John responds to this by saying, This is an extremely weak point once again. Exposed video is a very common term. Go search for it yourself. He then shows the next clip. He said, And he spams uploads which, with duplicate content against YouTube's terms of service. That is a smart, a smart 12-year-old. He steals code though. This is important because this is a relevant thing. Because back then, people were saying, Oh, Skeppy steals code in his videos and things like that. Um, in the commentary community which just so happens to be the community that Mr. Swan resides in. John Swan responds by saying, Here Dream hammers home the point about this being a super smart 12 year old. To reiterate, I do not know how old the kid is. He could be older than 12, I really don't know. However, back to the point. Dream says that a kid knowing about the YouTube TOS is unrealistic, but is it really? I mean, a portion of my audience is young too, and I've seen them parroting my fair use talking points in Twitter discussions. Dream of all people should know how his stance parroted his talking points when he went through his speedrun cheating scandal. Kids don't have to have full knowledge of something to act like they know what they are talking about. If any of you have a younger sibling, you'll know full well what I'm referring to here. Dream also kind of refutes his own point here as well. He claims that the allegation that Skeppy steals code was a common topic in the commentary genre at the time. I've never heard about it myself, but don't you think someone that watches Minecraft videos frequently might? And that they would parrot the talking points from those videos and DMs to other people? Just a thought. He then shows the next clip. What? Mate, don't spam me. Sorry, I'm at a party, mate. John responds by saying, This is probably one of the most confusing clips thus far. Up until now, the kid has been lying through his teeth. But on one line about a party, Dream decides to take him at his word and act surprised, writing 12 years old on the screen. He also repeats it later saying that the 12 year old must be a party animal. I don't really know what his point is here. Is it that he doesn't think that a 12 year old would think to say party? Because I don't know if he knows this, but birthday parties exist. I acknowledge that this could be something to make the stream less serious, but one comment like this doesn't replace the other 55 minutes of the stream. He then shows the next clip. He says, another time mate. This is not John. 
This is John. John responds to this by saying, Do I even need to refute this? To Australians saying mate? It's literally as common as saying dude or bro in the US. Not an argument. Next. Why is the new account that used to be called Dream, that was an alt account, apparently of this 12 year old, who is a family friend, called Nicholas Diorio? John Swan's best friend. John responds to this by saying, Dream then talks about the new name of the account impersonating him, and how it was changed to Nicholas Diorio. He makes a big point that Nicholas is my best friend, and it makes no sense that the kid would know who that was. Well, if you've already watched Nick's video, he speculates on that very point, and mentions that he appeared in, is mentioned, or is credited in 5 of my last 7 uploads. It's very hard to miss Nick if you watch my videos. And I know the kid did at the time, I assume he still does. Nick has a big meme culture around him in the community, and it's not unreasonable to assume that the kid was using his name to troll or mess around. He then shows the next clip. These are the scenarios here. One, the 12 year old is a genius, a mad genius who knows how to perfectly mimic John Swan's vernacular, his mannerisms, the way he speaks, has information about Harvey's friends without ever having spoken to him before and have no past messages that then now a year later, is still a criminal mastermind using Nicholas Diorio's name on the old fake dream account. Or it was John Swan. Now, which is more likely? John responds by saying, I understand that Dream is trying to put on a show here, but saying that the kid had to be a mad genius is just not true, and truly shows how much he's trying to shift the goalposts here. I know many kids who would pull a stunt like this, and I'm pretty sure some of you reading know someone like that too. He then shows the next clip. He left his account signed in on a 12 year old's computer, and he can't log in. Well, that's not how that works. If, if you left your account on somebody else's computer, then you can still log in. It's just they can log in too. I mean, it's not like he knew your password and was able to change your password or anything. And you had to submit a password request or anything. Maybe I was trying to act like I was hacked, but at the same time claiming that I left it on someone else's computer, which doesn't work because you don't need to reset your password using a password reset request if you have access to the account. And you don't need to have, if you have bad connection, that doesn't mean you don't have access to the account in which he claims he has access to the account. And if you left it on a PC, on their PC, that doesn't mean that you can't log in. John responds by saying, This is possibly Dream's worst point. He speculates why I would need a password reset if I couldn't get into my account. I've already talked about why I wasn't able to get in on page 3 of this document, but why would I need to do a password reset? Imagine you just discovered someone was using your account for a few hours and you just locked them out. Wouldn't you do a password reset to make 110% sure they weren't able to get back in? It's called good security. For extra confirmation, I went back and found the exact email. The timestamp on this was 9.51pm, the exact time where I told Dream I would be confronting the kid. He then shows that his password reset on Discord and his message to Dream did in fact happen at the exact same time, and then he goes on to the next clip. According to Harley, they said that he originally claimed it was his cousin. Apparently he said to someone else that it was his sister. He said to me it was a family friend that he hasn't spoken to. John responds by saying, Here Dream claims that my story has changed, going from cousin to sister to family friend. You will notice, however, that the evidence for this claim is never brought up. Maybe it was some exaggerated joke that someone has misinterpreted along the way, or someone remembering incorrectly. But I don't remember saying anything of the sort, and I don't know where he gets this from. John then shows the next clip. This is my theory. John Swan decided to troll. He was probably in a call with his friend. They were messing around. They said some dumb Minecraft sex mod stuff. Then they forgot about it and changed it back. But this name being here makes no sense whatsoever. Other than that, it's either John on his an alt, which is it could be likely, except for this, which I talked about earlier. His mic not muted. His mic not muted. He's talking. He's not lighting up. This is John Swan. Who's this? Nicholas. John responds to this by saying, In this clip, Dream puts forward a theory that the account being used in this troll was Nicholas Diorio's alt account. I find it amazing that in all the research Dream did, going into servers and doing a language analysis, he didn't consider the language analysis staring him right in his face. On every form of social media, Nick capitalizes the O in Diorio. It's on his Twitter, YouTube channel, Storyfire, literally every form of social media. If this was really an alt of Nick, why on earth would he misspell his own name? It doesn't make any sense what Whatsoever. John then shows the last clip. Harley has tweeted recently, after speaking to Dream, 
I'm unlisting my video and I won't be saying anything further at this point. I'll leave my prior statements up. Just know I'm not confident in them anymore. His key witness has backed out after hearing the information that was presented. John responds to this by saying, Dream claims that Harley backed out of the story upon hearing Dream's side. Harley is well known in the community for flip-flopping on the side of public opinion. His videos on Pyrocynical are a good example, as much as I think he has good intentions. After the events of recently, you probably shouldn't be listening to him when it comes to his takes on serious allegations. And I say that with even more confidence because recently he has completely backed down on his point again and stated that I was likely not the person who sent the messages, but that it's possible that I did it. He also says that the drama was made too large, and I fully agree. He then shows two screenshots of Harley. The first one is from his YouTube channel where he uploaded a video titled Pyrocynical Guilty Without a Doubt, and then followed up with a video titled Pyrocynical Framed by the Public. The next one is a tweet of his that says, You want me to say this publicly then? I believe that John Swan likely wasn't the one that sent those messages. However, it's definitely possible, and at the time, I am not confident enough to make a sweeping claim or allegation. Those are my thoughts. This drama was made too large. Addressing other inconsistencies, a point I've seen floating around is in regards to the original Dream DMs, namely why I hadn't been on Discord in like 3 days when I was in call with Lieutenant Cobra the day prior. This is a valid concern. As I've mentioned elsewhere in this document, I wasn't active in the community during this time due to some things going on in my personal life. I believe it was actually one of the reasons I had a convo with Cobra in the first place. In actuality, it was more like 2 days instead of 3, where I wasn't really responding to messages or active on servers, but I possibly lost track of time. This is further supported by DMs with Cobra, where I asked to VC over an hour after I had been messaging Dream. This is over a 24 hour gap since we last spoke. Usually the gaps are far smaller than this. He then shows screenshots of him talking to Dream on February 8th at 9.30pm, and then asking Lieutenant Cobra to VC on February 8th at 11pm. Why I didn't go on drama alert? I was initially skeptical about Keemstar's offer to go on drama alert, since he said to me that he wouldn't be unbiased. I wanted him to be impartial and not include his own opinion, but he refused to do so. I did eventually accept, but not long after, Dream started up his 56 minute stream in front of 300,000 people, and with it came thousands of mentions and replies, and a number one trend in the United States. Quite frankly, I was in complete shock and overwhelmed, and straight after the Dream stream ended, Keem texted me saying it was 10 minutes till the interview. My manager advised me to back out of the drama alert interview, collect myself, take some time off to process what happened, and respond on my own. I think this is a perfectly understandable route, and I think it's actually the correct way to resolve this. This has all been blown way out of proportion, as Dream says himself in the Kavos interview, and not feeding into Keem's drama cycle was probably the correct way to end this as peacefully as possible. Conclusion So where does this all leave us? This drama is so dumb. I believe that both Dream and myself may have overreacted when we responded. After watching Dream's interview with Kavos, I am no longer convinced, as I first was, that Dream was bringing up this old situation maliciously. I think he is very inexperienced when it comes to responding to drama, and is probably a little insecure about videos being made on him. I mean, this isn't the first time he's streamed over small drama. Just over a week ago, Dream streamed responding to a video claiming that he was scripting his Minecraft Manhunt series. The video was two weeks old, had 2000 views, and the channel it was on had 6k subscribers. His stream on the other hand had 250,000 people watching. This was a tiny, tiny drama, but he definitely overreacted, and I think something similar may have happened with my drama. A YouTuber of dream size is allowed to respond to videos of any size, but it's a bit strange that he cares this much about things that honestly do not affect him in any way. I do however want to point out the irony here. Dream had his own situation a few months back where he was accused of cheating in a Minecraft speedrun. Heaps of people didn't believe him, but he still responded and encountered everyone else's points as best he could. His odds were estimated to be anywhere between 1 in 100 million and 1 in 7.5 trillion, all of which are arguably much more unlikely possibilities than a kid trolling on my account. He knows how it feels to have the whole community call him a liar, but he can't even entertain the possibility that my side of events are legitimate. I just find that strange, but you know what they say, you can't prove a negative. I can't prove that I wasn't the person on the account any more than Dream can prove I was. The sad thing about this drama is that I don't have a big slam down at the end to prove Dream wrong and take home the decisive W because it doesn't exist. I would say that my version of events is plausible, but you can make up your own mind on that. I think this all came down to a misunderstanding on Dream and I's part, and I hope we can both learn from this going forward. Thank you for reading. And that's about it for John Swan's document. So after John Swan spent so much time making that document, even though the premise of what he's saying seems far-fetched, the lengths that he went to justify it caused me and many other people to think John Swan was
was telling the truth until he just came out and said it was all a lie. Yes, John Swan actually confessed to the whole thing just being a lie, you know, that me and 85% of my audience believe. So yeah, needless to say, I have a lot of extreme thoughts and stuff to say, which I will say for the end of the video. For now, let's just get into what actually transpired. We first caught wind of this when Nicholas Diorio tweeted out, John Swan lied about Dream. Thread. I've been shown proof tonight that has made me come to the conclusion that John Swan has been lying to me pretty fragrantly for the last few weeks. I've been sitting here for like a half hour trying to figure out how to word this tweet correctly, but here we go. I don't want to publicly flog John for lying in an 8 page document about a Minecraft sex mod. However, he sat by idle while me and Willie Mac slash shot from the point were fighting over the stupid shit. He not only lied publicly, he lied to me, Augie, Boblax, and Tipster for what felt like weeks. I wasn't going to run to Twitter, but he told me an autistic 12 year old hacked his discord and sent the n word slash let me make an ass of myself. The morally right thing to do is to make people aware of this as quickly as I shared my opinions when I thought the dog ate his discord account. Keemstar responds to Nick by saying, I went to your stream and laughed at you for how wrong you are about John Swan and now you have to publicly admit you were wrong. Keemstar is always right. Don't forget it you dumb fuck. Go on. Keemstar then makes a Twitter video of his own explaining the situation titled, Update Dream vs. John Swan. New info. This is breaking news. Dream, a thousand percent innocent. And it's looking like John Swan is guilty to the point where he might be confessing. Let me tell you, because I only got two minutes, so I'll go as fast as I possibly can. A year ago, uh, John Swan was on his Discord spamming Dream fans a lot of inappropriate stuff. He at one point even said the N-word, right? <laughs> And there was also a fake Dream account that was also doing this stuff with the John Swan account. Now, when Dream accused John Swan of doing this, John Swan said, oh, you know, I left my uh, Discord logged in at a friend's house and they were on it and they were doing it or whatever. So there was this big debate. Dream makes a Reddit post a year later, which was just a couple weeks ago. John Swan sees it, puts out a Twitter thread saying, Dream is trying to ruin my credibility. But then Dream does a stream and starts showing a lot of evidence where it looks like John Swan is lying. And John Swan was the real person on the account saying the N-word and trolling the Dream fans. So then, you know, I set up a debate between Dream and John Swan. John Swan backed out last minute said he needed time to prepare. And then a couple days ago, and no one even reported this because who would really care, John Swan, a commentator, instead of making a video defending himself, he comes out with a Google Docs, okay? Little strange for a commentator to be making a Google Docs instead of a video defending themselves. That was a little odd. And now John Swan's good friend, Nicholas Diorio is posting out tweets saying, you know what, we have 100% proof now that John Swan is guilty. This is what I heard, that John Swan told Tro, which is another commentator, the truth of what happened, when it happened, and then Tro was telling other people and somehow it got leaked. And now I'm hearing that John Swan is on a Discord right now confessing to the truth. And all John Swan's friends are exposing him. Damn, I hate to say it, but Keemstar right again? When are you motherfuckers gonna learn, bro? I'm always right. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yo, the whole commentary community was coming at my throat. John Swan's innocent, John Swan, bro, this is hilarious. Dude, I'll have a full update once this really goes public tomorrow on Drama Alert. Keemstar continues tweeting about this when he says, clout is one hell of a drug. Dude probably thought there was no way to prove it, and having a fight with Dream would help his career. He even tweeted he was gaining subs from it. He then shows a tweet from John Swan that says, Just a reminder that I'm uncancelable. Good night everybody, showing his growth on Twitter. Keemstar continues this when he says, Dear John Swan, I would like to publicly invite you to come on to Drama Alert to apologize for slandering Dream publicly for weeks, and to apologize directly to Dream. Breaking, John Swan deletes all the tweets proving he's been slandering Dream for weeks. Now, in addition to deleting all his tweets, John Swan made a statement about the entire situation. He tweets out, Taking accountability. Hello, everyone. As a commentator, my credibility is important to me. Unfortunately, I have let you all down. There is no excuse for what I did, and I take full responsibility. I wish I could have made a video, but I'm currently traveling and not in the position to do so. I was messing around on Discord about a year back with a friend of mine. I had 6k subs and thought nothing of it. This somehow got back to Dream and I didn't expect it to. 
I panicked. I told a lie and thought it would never get brought up again. I was wrong. Dream's Reddit post came out and I was completely in shock. I panicked again and made my thread, digging myself into a deeper hole. I thought it would look really bad if people thought I was impersonating a YouTuber, even though it was so small and inconsequential at the time. But I understand now that lying about something on as big of a scale as this is indefensible. Time after time, I messed up. I should have just said it was me all along, but I didn't. I dug myself deeper and deeper, and I got caught up with everything. I lied about a massive creator and I'm sorry. There is no excuse. There is no need to defend me. I was brutally wrong and I'm sorry for lying to you all. I'm especially sorry to dream for everything I did. Lying at the expense of someone else's credibility is one of the worst things a creator can do. Once again, there is no excuse. I understand if this makes you lose respect for me. In fact, I would be shocked if it didn't. I messed up on such a large scale that I don't even know if I'm capable of anyone's forgiveness, but I will try my best to earn my respect back. I have let you all down. I am ashamed and disappointed in myself, and I am sorry. I will be taking time off from all social media to process everything. I will return at some point, but I don't know when. In the meantime, stay safe and healthy. I also want to apologize to the people that stuck their neck out to defend me. People like Nick, Augie, Boblax, Tipster, Optimus, and others. I lied directly to their faces and put everyone's credibility in danger. I didn't consider how this might have affected them, but I should have. Once again, there is no excuse for what I did. Augie RFC responds by saying, thanks sociopath. Dream says, thank you for the apology and confession. Teamstar also makes a Twitter video on John Swan titled, Dear John Swan, I do not accept your apology because you are still manipulating your fans. John Swan, this is not going to work, all right? You making this post saying, you know what, guys, I'm sorry I let you all down and I lied to everybody. You know, I kept digging myself in a deeper hole and, you know, I'm taking accountability now. The title of this is taking accountability. No, motherfucker. The only reason why you are even admitting that you're lying now is because you were cornered. There was evidence. There was proof. Tro, who knew this whole time, who said nothing, right? was telling other people the truth, and then they exposed those conversations with Tro, and then you got fucking cornered with proof to the point that forced you to tell the truth. This isn't taking accountability. And here's another thing. You're a fucking commentator, all right? And hey, look, I do news, other commentators, you know, cover news and stuff, criticizing other YouTubers. You're gonna make mistakes. You gotta own those mistakes. Mistakes happen, right? This isn't a mistake. This is a deliberate fucking lie that you made about Dream. Dream is trying to ruin my career. This is a fucking lie. As commentators, you hold different YouTubers' careers uh, you, you know, in your fucking hands. You gotta have some fucking respect for that. And again, mistakes happen, but this was not a mistake. This wasn't a oopsie. This was a deliberate fucking lie. No mercy, no fucking career anymore. You should be canceled indefinitely. You know, how the fuck are you going to criticize any other fucking YouTuber on this fucking platform for anything they fucking do when you're doing this shit? Mm -mm. And the other commentators out there, dude, you better be hard on this dude. Because if you're not, then the entire, the entire commentary community is a fucking fraud. And they can't be trusted. You criticize other YouTubers. You'll criticize Dream. You'll criticize James Charles. Fucking the Paul Brothers. Whatever. But if you don't do it to yourself. Nobody should fucking trust you or watch you ever again. Commentary community. Dream then comes out with a statement on this entire situation. He says... It's come to my attention that John Swan has confessed to his friends about lying about me after being confronted with new evidence, and has deleted his response after my stream. I knew about this new evidence about a week ago, and I offered in private for him to confess to me and apologize and delete his tweets. And I wouldn't criticize him publicly for it, without telling him about the evidence. And he still denied it fully and continued to tweet lies. I'm glad this has come to an end, but I'm severely disappointed in John Swan for continuing to lie about me, despite me giving him multiple opportunities to tell the truth. I would like an apology to me and my community from John Swan, but I'll probably not get one. I'm also very disappointed in all the commentary channels that made the narrative that I slandered a small creator. I hope they'll put equal effort into making sure people know that I didn't, as they did into that. That's it though, I don't plan on talking about it anymore. And remember, don't attack anyone on my behalf. Thank you guys for the support as always, and Detective Dream on top, lol. As I was writing this he actually put out an apology, so I take that part back. 
the rest stands. Now, as for this tweet in particular, I feel like I do need to address this. As many of you guys know, my original video on this situation was titled, Dream Slanders Another YouTuber, John Swan. Now, at the time, I genuinely believed that Dream slandered John Swan. Based on what was known, what Dream said in his tweets at the time, and what John said in his tweets at the time, as well as what he told me in private. After Dream released his stream, I decided to change the title, as I felt like he was actually making a mistake, rather than actively intending to slander John Swan, and now of course we know that he was telling the complete truth. But ultimately it was my mistake for making such a definitive title on a situation that wasn't definitively concluded. We didn't know for sure if Dream slandered John Swan, and to put that in my title even though I personally believed it to be 100% true, I do recognize in hindsight that despite my opinion, I shouldn't put things I don't know 100% for sure into my titles. So I do apologize to Dream for that, and especially to you guys for unintentionally misleading you. In the future, I will be sure to make less definitive titles in order to not confuse anybody. Lieutenant Cobra tweeted out, Due to the fact that John's come out about the Dream situation, it's probably about time I stated why I defended John despite knowing what actually happened. Harley TBS is a pretty cringe kid, and was messaging John about Dream, so I thought it would be funny if John pretended he was good friends with Dream, and sent Harley Dream's Discord account, in which it was me on the account. It was simply just to troll Harley for shits and giggles. It was quite a while ago, but I remember John telling Dream it wasn't him or something. Personally, and I think I told John this, I would have just told Dream the truth, because it was a nothing burger, but I think John just sort of panicked because he's quite uptight in situation like this. And of course, because of this, I never came out to tell the truth because I'm not going to backstab a good friend over something so insignificant. I'm sorry if you're disappointed in me not telling everyone the truth or what. I'm just hoping you can understand morally why I never came forward. Okay, now back to funny tweets. And if you're more concerned over the idea that me and John would troll Dream, then I take full responsibility on that matter because it was my idea. Thank you to YouTubers who have muted me on Twitter, but I've been talking about the sex mod I was developing. Willie Mac Show responds to him by saying, Dude, your credibility is zero and has been for years. You could have owned up on RFC when I directly asked if it was you and John, but you lied. Nice man. Way to own up when it's over. Cobra responds, Use your brain and think, why would I come out and backstab a guy I've been good friends with for two years? Like, do you not think I wanted to tell the truth because I had no issue with me and John trolling, so I would have happily owned up. But since John lied to Dream, I protected him because he's my friend, laughing my ass off. Willie responds, How about you be a good friend and give sound advice? Yeah, John, let's double down! Bruh, I don't want to hear your sob story. Optimus reacts to all of this by saying, I woke up today to find out that John Swan lied directly to me, and many people in the commentary community about his interactions with Dream. I want to take the chance to apologize to Dream for not believing him, and honestly, I'm just stunned that this is the case. Diva Pancho responds, I'm guessing you're gonna take down your two videos on the whole situation? Optimus responds, yes, and I'll be making one correcting the situation. This is the absolutely last thing I expected to wake up to, but here we are. I'm not sure why we were lied to like this, but I feel especially shitty considering we all stuck our credibility on the line for someone we trusted. Keemstar responds, well, to be fair, I told you about this a week ago, privately, because I didn't want you to step on the landmine. Just keeping it a full stack definitely shouldn't have been the last thing you expected. Optimus continues by saying, The thing that blows my mind the most is that John knew that he did this, and then ran to Twitter to bring exponentially more eyes onto the situation so that he could play victim. Had he never said anything, the situation likely never would have spiraled to the point it did. Debt for Life responds, Just try to be willing to change your mind next time something like this happens. Optimus quote tweets him to say, In my defense, I said several times I wasn't concretely on John Swan's side, that I was merely observing what the two sides said, and going off that. John did a great job of lying till he told on himself, but I was wrong, and I own up to it. Another thing about this John Swan thing is he put out a half-assed forced apology and then ran from social media, said he's traveling, which he supposedly was when he got hacked too. So I don't know if I even believe that, to be honest. Pindrick responds, I don't know why he lied at all in the first place. Motherfucker acting like he genuinely committed a crime. All he did was troll some kid a year ago. Totally blew out of proportion. And like Tipster has pointed out too, now this will hurt his credibility on everything, including genuine real shit he's called out, like Chris Hansen or Susie Liu. He's put himself in such a big hole. It's sad. Optimus quote tweets him to say, He should have thought about that before lying to me and all the other people who likely would have defended him in that situation. I can't speak for how these other guys are going to react about this, but personally, I'm pretty pissed off to be quite frank. Also, the reason I think his apology is ingenuine is that other creators apparently knew he was guilty behind the scenes, and when confronted by Dream, he continued to lie. He lied until the very end when people started talking about it on Twitter, then suddenly apologized. Nah. Pendrick responds, There's no way he would have 
apologized if it never came out publicly. I 100% guarantee it. John is so dumb for this whole thing, man. Hope he never pulls shit like this again. Optimus responds. He's going to try and come back when he thinks all of this is blown over. I'm calling it. When he thinks he can salvage some of the respect in the community, he's going to show back up like it never even happened. Nick responds. I mean, what do you want him to do? To which Optimus replies, not lie to the entire community? Not let me and all these other people believe him and make videos siding with him? Tweet siding with him? He could have genuinely apologized at any time through the weeks this has been happening. He only did so when people started switching. Bro, something has to be up with you in your head to drag this type of lie out. Dude deadass planned fake evidence and made a multiple page Google Doc just literally lying. Countless hours spent planning to damage Dream's reputation and save his over some petty shit. So that's about it for the reactions to this situation. But the question is, how or why? Why did John Swan admit to lying, especially after standing by his own lie for so long to the point of making a Google document? Well, it turns out John Swan didn't come out with the truth because he wanted to, but rather because he got caught. As Keemstar mentioned in the previous Twitter video we watched of him, John Swan was caught red-handed when Nicholas DiOrio confronted him in a Discord call. Here is that Discord call. I'm not mad at you. I just want you to, like, 100% assure me that you, there's no possible way, there's no mix-up that could have happened. Like, there's no way that you could possibly be not telling me the entire truth. No, there's no way. There's no way that you could have, like... I, it, it doesn't add up, dude. I can't I tell you what I, I know, because it's just like... I don't think the person's going to release it. And I... It's just like... Oh, this is so fucked. Um, apparently, there's like a lot of people who know now, and I just got told tonight. And it's like, I, I really can't give you any information on it because I don't want you to just go and message them. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but I have a feeling. So I then, who is it? Who it is? Because I've heard it. It. I I have been hit you, up recently. Uh, yeah. By someone. Uh, but I. This totally adds up to what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. About priming. Okay. What about priming? Uh, I heard that Primic's been uh, saying some shit behind the scenes about. But do you know what, what Primic has been saying about uh, you? I do. All right, that's the problem. But because like Primic's been. not the head of anything. I, I know Primic knows, but uh, he's not like leading anything. It's just like. <sighs> There's no way, like, oh, fuck, dude, like, I don't know, I just expect it to, like, at this point, I think I've interacted with you enough that, like, if this were to be the case, you would tell me, so it would be, like, really fucked if that's not the case, um, like, absolutely, totally fucked if it turned out to not be, like, like the way that I assumed, um, yeah. There's no way that you and Cobra were just fucking around with Harley or whatever, and then you didn't expect Dream to respond, and you just said, like you made up something on the spot or whatever, and then you just like it, you weren't expecting it to ever come back up again, and it came back up again, and it was just a big shit show, and you just tried to bury it, and then it got bigger, and then you just fucking made a document. There's no way that's what happened. I'm trying really hard here because Nick. Dude, I'm not gonna go make a fucking video on you. Okay, I'm just I'm just asking because I want to know because like I feel like I already know the answer, so it's like really like I, there's no reason to lie to me. If you know the answer, then you know the answer. So you did it. That's what I'm gonna say. I I I. John, he, come he, on! He, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't know. Who knows? If you know the answer, you know the answer. That's all. Are you, like, the slightest bit worried? No, not really. Like, do you think I'm being irrational right now? No, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. I think you're justifiably concerned. John. <sighs> There's, uh, you're like, I'm, I'm really trying to tiptoe here. I, 
I have talked to everybody. I, I've talked to every single person involved in the entire thing now. Like, all of the people. Not like Harley and Cobra. Like, I know... Like, basic. I've gone to, like, talk to most of the old NCO people. So, like, I know everything. Like, there's no reason to not just tell me. If you know, then you know. That's what I'm going to uh... say. Do you not trust me? It's not that I don't trust you. It's that, um... No, if you know, then you know. That's all I'm going to say. It's nothing to do with not trusting you, though. That's such a weird answer. No, it, it, it's... it's, it's well, How could it be more complicated, John? I laid out exactly what I think happened. It's, 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 it's a yes or a no. You are justifiable in believing that's what happened. Is there a reason why that's not what happened? It could be several reasons why. So then why can't you just tell me what they are? Okay, here's the thing, right? I... Like, I know you talk to people. I know you talk to people. I know, you know, you talk to me about things that other people talk to you about. We share information. This is what happens. It happens all the time, okay? Uh-huh. I... You are... You're probably gonna go and tell. No, I'm not. If I'm gonna tell people, if I'm, it kind of you know. All right. To be fair, to be fair. Let's just let's not walk around the bush, right? Because you will probably do it, okay? Because we we do it all the time. Okay, sure, whatever. You know, so it doesn't. My my defense for that is that if I were to tell anybody, I would tell people what I've been already told privately. I probably wouldn't. What you're saying probably isn't gonna affect that, but. Well, I don't. I don't think that you. um I don't know. Look, uh, there's no problem with you doing that because uh, you know we all do it, and it's, uh -huh. it's just it's just what happens, and we exchange information. Um, so uh, I'm not going to say anything at this time. That's all. So you're afraid that I'm going to go tweet it out immediately that you tell me if you did it? No, I don't think you're afraid that you're going to tweet it out. I think that you're uh, uh, you're probably just going to go tell people. Which is fine. I mean, we do. It all then the what's the like? If if everybody already knows, I then why? Don't. Do you think well, they don't have? Don't all right, wait. You think they don't have you saying it? They do. No, they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. Hey, John, it's not on his Twitter account. It's on his WhatsApp. No, I don't. I, 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 uh, it's, 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 it's not me that sent that. Man. The kid sent it? I don't know who that is. John, this I is crazy. I don't know who that was. John. I don't know. Who was that? I don't know. Oh, God. This is super fucked. This is... Su Why couldn't you just tell no. me not to make the video? That's all I want to know. Why wouldn't you tell me that, like, I'm in a... Like, I'm putting myself in a really stupid position and just to stay the fuck out of it? Why couldn't you just do that, dude? Because it goes a little bit deep. How deep is this, dude? Is this, like... Are we entering, like, a satanic cult, dude? Like, are we going, like, to fucking Comet Ping Pong no. with this? Like, what is this? Is, is there, like, a pedophile it's, ring I don't know about? No, it's not Is somebody, like, out to get you? Um, I... I don't know about out to get me, but... There are definitely people that would try... What, is, what, what bridges have you fucking burned? Well, I don't know, you know, some people really, really don't like me, unfortunately. I, dude, I, I, I can't possibly believe that anyone in the entire list of all the people we interacted with from the NCO would be like this fucking like gung ho to like take you out. Unless you've like gone on complete like a wall fucking side quests to whatever this fucking YouTube game is and just like fucked everybody over without me noticing. But like, no, it's nothing, nothing to do with that. Um, but there are definitely people that would that would that would try to use this. Um, in the future. Try, wait, hold on. Are you worried that people are going to use this in the future, or are you worried that people are going to, like, disprove you publicly? Like, are you worried that this is going to come back to bite you, no, or are you worried that this happened? No... 
Both. So it happened. Oh, fuck, you? dude. Why can't you just answer me straight up? Nah, it's, 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 All right, well, if you're not going to answer me, we don't have to talk anymore. Um, yep, yeah, I, uh... You were pretty easy to say no until right now, by the way. I just want you to let you know. Like, you've been pretty, like, openly saying no for, like, a really long time. So the fact that you keep saying it's like, well, it's, like, more complicated. Well, you don't know all the information. Well, I can't really say anything. Well, you're probably going to go tell everybody. It's just like, yeah, again, I, I like, nothing you say is more substantial than what I think I have. So I don't know. And I'm not going around yeah, actively, like, so fucking slandering I... you or whatever. No, I know you're not. I know you're not. I know you're not, which I appreciate. Um, but, okay. So things have... Hmm. I, um... I spoke to Troy mm -hmm. the other day. That's how I know. Um, because I spoke to him after a long time of not speaking to him at all. And we had a, about an hour conversation. About mm -hmm. Um... And basically, the outcome of that was um, he had told people, but it wasn't it wasn't as many as what I'm. What made it to now. me? So they told I people. Assume, I assume things have. I yes. assume things have spread. Um, but that doesn't really matter because what matters is where it started, and uh, if that person isn't going to come forward with anything, then it doesn't really matter. I mean, shitty screenshots coming from third hand doesn't mean a thing. So you're you're basically just okay with saying that like, it didn't happen because Tro's not going to put out the screenshot. Yes. All right, man. I just per I, I I'm not mad at you. I'm not yes. gonna like fucking. I don't know. I'm just like, I I kind of am. Like, not gonna lie. I kind of would have. No, you you are justifiably are you justifiably are, and I understand if this uh, you know impacts things later on down the line. And I just feel like you could have just told um, me right off the bat. I, I think we could have figured we could have figured it out. Uh, we could have figured this out like no, literally day one. You didn't have to make that thread to address it. We could have I... totally figured this out when it was just a Reddit post, and we could have figured it out. I don't think so. I. I don't know. I, I want. I wanted. To Why would you start throwing things fucking things. rocks around with Dream if you knew he had this on you? Oh, it doesn't really. No, matter. but you made it much because you posted an eight-page Google document over a little white lie that blew up into a fucking mountain, dude. You don't think it's like? I mean, it's never gonna fucking. I guess it's not gonna come back to bite you, but it's like, you don't think that's like the slightest risky thing? It was definitely, it was a big risk. Big risk. Massive. And you didn't just take it, you dragged us but into it. I had. And don't go, I never asked you to defend me, because that's like some dumb gay shit, dude. You were totally happy to accept it. And, uh. Yeah, I am. I was. It was, it was, it was, it was. You know, looking back. You know, I definitely, I definitely did some things that were wrong, you know, undeniably. But, I don't know. Uh, I can only look All right, well, to the future. I'm gonna so. dip now because uh, I need to like not go completely crazy. I'm probably gonna go to sleep. But so that's what was said in the first Discord call between Nicholas and John. After that call, Nicholas posted his thread saying that John Swan lied, and that caused a second call to happen. Here is what was said. I had to. I know. No, I did. No. I, I definitely did. No. What? No. What the fuck, John. dude? You... Talk, talk, go. No, it's just why, dude. I you can't, dude. I'm... What the no, fuck? what? What do you mean? How is this any worse? Then literally just lying to my f I don't know how much you've lied to me about, dude. I have no idea how much you've lied to me about, but if you're willing to lie on like that big of a public spectrum, do you think like people shouldn't know about it? 
you told somebody once that like your ego is going to be the fucking death of you or some dumb shit like that but like i don't know i i feel like i've taken a lot of punches for you dude I feel like, uh, I mean, you know what this makes me think of, dude? I think this makes me think of the time that I cracked a joke on a live stream saying, what if A-Star lied and it made a whole big credibility issue and we got into a huge fucking fight over that? And, like, I start to wonder now, like, what if fucking A-Star lied? I start to wonder now, like, what happened to the fucking lawsuit? I start to, and, and all these could be totally, like, ridiculous, right? But I'm just sitting here thinking it's just like, you haven't been fucking up front with me in any capacity. Why would, like, holy shit, dude. And it's just, if you're going to be fucking lying to me, then what the fuck are you... I, I don't know. I, I thought we were, like, cooler than that. I, I, I thought you wouldn't, like, fucking, like, completely screw me over. So, I don't know what you really expect from me here. I have, like, a moral truth well, capacity thing. What? No. No, dude. What is the is way, dude? The way. How do I do it better? This is not the way. Fucking delete that immediately. What, this what is did not I do wrong? What, what's wrong about it? What do you want me to... Like, what would I change? This is not the time. This is seriously not the time. What do you mean? This is... You, no. Just... What the fuck, dude? Look, dude, I feel bad enough already, but I'm not gonna just sit here and just, like, get fucking guilt-tripped. Do you have something to say that makes this make any sense to me? I just... I just... Okay, alright. Come on, dude, just tell me the sob story so I can tell you I don't fucking care about it. No, I, I don't, don't, no, I really don't. I'm not, like, like seriously, I don't. I, I, can you just, like, get it off? Like, did your dog die? Like, what do you need me to say? No, it's just fucking... I don't... Oh. No, you don't care anyway, so it doesn't matter. What, dude? What? What is going on? No, oh, it's just some family shit. Okay, dude, was the all. family shit um, a year long? Okay. Um, dude, are you really no, gonna are you no, really gonna get me into recently. a call and tell me that you're having family shit and this isn't the time and you can't handle this right now? Like seriously, dude? Come on, bro. Come on, yeah. dude. You're not even gonna come in here and try to like defend yourself and like have an actual fucking point in the situation. You're gonna come in here and fucking guilt trip me or something like that. And you're the guy. You're literally the guy who said no, that fucking pie man was like fucking baiting suicide or whatever. And you get in a call and you tell me that you have a fucking family problem about this stupid drama. You know that's really that's really fucking insulting. Okay. That's really insulting, not, dude. This is not. It's not what this is about. Okay. You're really oh, good on your dude. feet 99% of the time. I'm not sure if that's like the caricature or that's you. So I don't know who the fuck I'm talking to. No. No, you, you no. It's just this is fucking. What the fuck, dude? Like, I don't understand why you have to bring this to the public. Right now? What do you mean? Like, I had no we, idea. I think you should have brought it to the public yeah. three weeks ago and we could have totally skipped this out. Do you understand that I've been like fighting with everybody on Tommy's news team? I almost burned a bridge with Tommy because I was defending you so much. Willie Mac show is making a whole video about how I'm fucking biased or some shit because I genuinely believe that you weren't feeding me lies for like a fucking week and a half and I got into a screaming match with him and like Wavy Websurf's girlfriend was in the call or whatever. Like, this is like literally driven like fucking divisions in my own fucking friendships with people online because i fucking trusted you so like i don't really feel bad about this not at all actually I, I feel bad that like i burned a bridge with somebody i genuinely like to talk to but i don't know if that person genuinely liked to talk to me because he fucking lies through his teeth dude so i don't know what the fuck i have no idea dude this is nothing this is this is Dude, just go and lie publicly, dude. Just go and lie publicly. Just say like Nick didn't put any screenshots in there. Dude, just go for it. Totally go for it, dude. You can you you know what what are you gonna do? But you're not gonna respond to it. You're not gonna fucking like come in here and just say like Nick, you're being crazy right now or something like that. Or you're gonna uh, dude, this is the same shit as last time when we got into an argument. And you're like, yeah, I don't want to deal with that phone call, or whatever, until I posted something, and now all of a sudden you want to talk. I don't know. No, it's just, I wanted it to just end fucking peacefully, dude. I dug myself into a deep hole and I f- felt fucking terrible about it since I ever did it, man. You didn't I'm gonna be do you, okay? anything like fucking real. wrong. I know you, you did. What you did wrong was you dragged it and dragged it and dragged it. And that's the fucking problem here, is that you made a Google document and you drug, like, everybody else in to, like, fuck, like to fix your fucking situation. All you had to do was just own up to the fact that you fucking, like, trolled somebody and you never thought it would get back to them or something like that. 
and it probably if you did it like the, at the beginning if you did it at like the point where it was on fucking reddit like there were so many outs you had so many outs to not be a dipshit i don't know i don't know like i just figured you were a lot smarter than this i, I guess i was wrong yeah i thought so too i guess i'm not i guess i'm a fucking moron okay um like this is this Dude, is just like be, just stop being a fucking ego driven big... jackass and just say you know what i got caught up just tweet out i got caught up in it that's all you have to do like i no because i've, I've what do you I'm mean you're just gonna keep lying shit to do that I, I, i'm just not gonna talk about it again ideally what so then you can go fucking not answer it and then someone's gonna write it in your chat while you're streaming so you can give a stupid insanely terrible take again like you did last time you tried to push something like out of the way i just you're gonna no, fuck yourself dude not. you're gonna fuck yourself again because nobody fucking listens to me until after and now this is how we got here dude again i didn't want to burn this bridge i had no interest in burning this bridge but like this is crazy dude because Why did you do it? It's the morally Why right. I have a video it, on my fucking channel lying Dude, about somebody. I, can I have a video lying about understand. somebody on my channel, and I didn't know I was lying about somebody when I made it. I have to fucking clear that up. <sighs> fucking hell. You could have just fucking. Oh, I did. The video, but then you know? I made a statement because it's the right thing I to know, do. But... but it's just not. We always had this fucking thing. We always said that, like, if any of us ever fucked up, like, we would call each other out for it, right? We always said that shit. You fucked up, dude. I called you out on it. Sorry. Yeah, you know what? Was it fucking harsh? Sure, dude. So was sitting here telling me that a 12-year-old fucking stole your fucking thing and sent, like, a Minecraft sex mod. You know, I, I was speculating that that sounded like Lieutenant Cobra. Like, dude, what did you get in a call with him and go, like, hey, man, uh, we really got to get me out of this situation, dude. You have, like, something... Like, are the screenshots even fucking real? From the Harley thing? Uh, yeah. Because you and yeah, him were sitting in a call going, like, this Harley TBS guy is a fucking loser or whatever. And then the next day, Harley sent you a friend request and instead, of, and you just fucking added it and you started fucking with him because that's what you did back then. And Willie's right. That was what everyone did in the NCO shit like that. All those guys just fuck with small commentators. You fuck with small commentators literally no, all the time. Not really. Do I think, you, no. Well, do, you, do I think you make fucking fake dream accounts all the time? No, that's not what I'm saying. But I, you fuck with small commentators literally all the time. So, like, it, he's right. Okay, I was totally <sighs> off on that. What do you fucking suggest I do here now? Um, fucking own it, dude. And do you think, like, is there a hypothetical here that the reason Dream was acting so weird to you in DMs is because he fucking already, like, either either had, like, the Tro thing and Tro asked him not to release it, or, like... No, there's nothing. How was nothing he so he sure that it. you lied? I think he's just very fucking good at reading people, probably. Dude, what? I just don't understand. Why do you not understand? What is, what is so crazy about this? No, no, no. I can understand if you never talk to me ever again, but you didn't have to do this. I, then you don't know who I am, dude, because my whole thing is trying to be fucking like... I, I like This is like a whole moral thing. I try to get to the bottom of things. I try to be like impartial and shit like that. And what you fucking pulled and dragged me into really fucking really it really bothers me on like a personal level and that's not even why i posted it i could be, i could be mad at you right like i was mad at you when you stole my jokes or whatever and then kind of copied my whole like list of things in that one video i was kind of mad at you about that but i didn't publicly fucking rip you to shreds or anything like that and i didn't publicly make a whole big deal out of it because i could be mad at you and then get over it it's not that big of a deal it's fucking youtube shit okay Hmm. I have like a moral obligation to not fucking post lies and like slanderous shit on my shit. Okay, so if I'm making a video, I need to be like damn sure I'm telling the truth. I've never had to private a video on my main channel. Have I gotten a few things wrong here and there? Yeah, but I've corrected those things. This is a full video of like, and dude, I should have known when I was reading your fucking, uh, fucking whatever it was uh doc that like half the points were like fucking regurgitated from my own video that like i you pro i don't know i, I should have fucking known dude when i read that shit and i'm like you need to change that you need to change this that like you were making it up as you went along and it's just like it's such a fucking crazy mm. thing that you wouldn't expect me to come out and clear oh, this shit up publicly 
So no, I don't fucking... I'm sorry. I don't feel bad for whatever sob story you have, or I don't fucking feel bad for whatever is going on in your life. I, I, it must really suck, dude. Everyone has it, dude. My fucking uncle died, like, literally a week ago. I had his fucking funeral three days ago. I'm not gonna fucking give you a sob story about how his sudden death has impacted me in a way that made me tweet this shit out. It's just not the, the case. Uh, I'm really sorry if this, like, makes you upset. I'm sorry if this, like, hurts any future thing that I, that's not my goal I, I i do not want to hurt your channel i, I don't want to hurt you as a person but it's it comes down on my credibility or letting you lie and my credibility matters more to me than letting you lie to dream okay sorry about that it's nothing personal except it kind of is but the actual action isn't personal um yeah that's about all i have to say so unless there's another reason i need to be here like again totally don't expect oh did he leave he fucking rage quit the call he fucking rage quit the call holy what, what did he how long was that rant he, he fucking rage quit the call and there you go that's how dream accidentally got john swan to cancel himself over the most petty shit imaginable. The fact that this little lie blew up into such a big situation, especially from someone who was as seemingly credible as John Swan, making these huge serious documentary videos on Chris Hansen and Susie Liu, it's just mind blowing to say the least. And it's crazy to think that if Nicholas Diorio never found out the truth, John Swan could still potentially be lying to this day. Because as you could tell in the call we just listened to, he didn't really make this apology of his own volition, but rather because he was forced into it. Anyways, I would love to hear your opinion on all of this in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to like the video and subscribe with notifications on. Thank you so much to my channel members for supporting the channel, in particular Scrubby who's donated $100 a month. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.